to benefit extra life. And we've assembled a wonderful group of gamers here. Uh, and I think we should go right into uh, introducing them. And then uh, maybe they can tell you a little bit about how they got here, what they do in real life, how they got here, and uh, maybe Satine can also explain a little bit of why she hired them, if I can help. Oh, you know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but let's start over here with Latia. Oh, uh, hi, everybody. My name is Latia Dickies. I'm the Community Relations Coordinator for Monty Cook Games. I'm also a freelance TTRPG writer and streamer, and I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> uh, my name is Chris Strader. I am on this on Twitter. I am a small time streamer and aspiring writer. And like Latia, I am extremely happy to be here. Uh, my name is Greg Marks. Uh, I have been a freelance writer for RPGs for a few decades now. And I am currently the content manager for the D&D Adventures League. I'm Claire Hoffman. Uh, I've been involved in working there as a player for more years than Hi, I'm Satine Phoenix, and I breathe Dungeons and Dragons. Um, <laughs> I'm the former community manager of Dungeons and Dragons. I'm the host of GM Tips on Geek and Sundry, and the creator of Satine's Quest, luxury travel gaming adventures. Well, that's an intro to follow. So hi, everybody. <laughs> My name is Peter. I'm the CEO of Demiplane. And uh, the most interesting thing about today is that I will probably be the first victim of the entire episode as I'm playing the fighter thief Ruck Stonelifter. Ooh. Looking forward to it. Awesome. And uh, so I think, oh, I'm Stefan Pokorny, uh, founder and CEO of Dwarven Forge. And we're going to be using my terrain, obviously, in this adventure. Um, so about the adventure. Uh, there is a minstrel bard in my city of Valoria who has been kidnapped by the wicked witch Grunhilda and uh, Kara Ocean who is a high level sorceress has figured out where they're hiding uh, this Pat Purser and it is in the forest deep in the forest in a <laughs> tower fortified tower and I believe that, uh, you know, she's not, she's a sorcerer. She's not good at, you know, thieving. So C has uh, hired a bunch of thieves, right? That's so, right. And uh, so she's assembled a very uh, dangerous uh, crew, and they're going to try this heist, rescue, I mean a rescue, uh, <laughs> to uh, <laughs> uh, this tower. Um, I think... Uh, what is there? Something else involved in there? I, I like to call them uh, Ocean Five. Ocean Five. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so, without further ado, I think we will start. They they are now at the uh, the corner, the edge of the forest. Uh, it is the middle of the day. Um, I think you've heard that they were hobgoblins uh, uh, under the employ of this uh, wicked witch. And uh, you've spied some of them up on the battlements. So uh, I guess I will wait to see how you all decide to attack this fortified tower. Oceans 5, it's up to you five to get us through here. Um, I am a simple sorceress, but you are master thieves. I trust you to lead the way and protect me, <clears throat> us, at all costs. I got a question, boss. Yes. Uh, I thought there was something about a diamond. What time? Um, there are many treasures that you will find along the way. Okay, but so. But the real diamond here is Patty Purser. <laughs> <laughs> but there's Patty like Purser. some big diamonds, though, right? There may or may not be some diamonds, yes. The biggest one I will take, but you know how that goes. You will also ha get to cut. But okay. if the biggest diamond is Patty Purser, are you going to take him, or are you going to take the No, I mean a literal diamond. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. He's a figurative, metaphorical diamond. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm with you now. So we really want you the biggest take. diamond, and you, then Patty You person. get the third biggest diamond. <laughs> well, since I'm the smallest, I think that is a good gig. I'm in. <laughs> I mean, we're all in. We're already here. 
<laughs> I get I'm very glad to hear you're still in. <laughs> now, it is up to you to strategize our path Ooh. through. Those hobgoblins look very dangerous and, and also organized. Hmm. Well, the strategy is easy. Just go right up, kill the hobgoblins, get the mercer, purser, get the diamonds, and then leave. Mm, I think we get the diamonds first, and then we get the purser. I, I agree. Let's go. Oh. No. But I'm not so sure like about this frontal to be a attack. I think that Isn't there a back there. door somewhere? There yeah. might be. I can try and listen. I can talk to them. You can talk to the door? No, not the door. The, the hobgoblins. I can understand. Oh, oh, oh! Mm -hmm. Ain't you fancy? So you're um, bait. I prefer well. not to be bait, but a lure. A lure. That's like, like expensive bait, right? Oh yeah, it's just the fancier word for bait. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, uh, let's see. That looks like some cover and stuff. We could probably sneak up on the other side there. Go around behind the trees and the walls and the stuff, the not yes. being able to see and such. That makes or, sense. Uh, either of them. Which one Amazing. do you guys, do you want to go through the trees or the walls? Uh, the trees might be better, but I'm very loud. Oh, maybe we should divide up. And the distractions, the, the lures, the whichever way, should go that way. And the sneakier people should go this way. Hmm. DM, what kind of... Uh, what kind of things do we see on the tower? Do we see any weapons or like uh, defenses that could maybe, you know, shoot into the trees or oh anything my like that? Goodness. Well, you see there is a sort of a a twisting rocky ramp with some gaps in it, and I suppose that's how they get in and out of the tower. Usually there might be, I guess, ladders between all these these several gaps uh, heading right into this balcony. Um, at the moment, there are two hobgoblins manning two uh, rather dangerous-looking ballistas right here in the front. Uh, up on the top, you see two hobgoblins on the back side patrolling the battlements, and you also see lots of arrow slits all around the tower. Uh, after going around the perimeter uh, with your sharp eyes and crafty skills, you don't think there are any secret doors or openings at the base of the tower. So you're going to have to somehow climb in, fly in, do sneak in some way into this tower. Um, you do notice a window up here too, but you don't see any doors. Mm. Mm. Well, I bet those of us that is all sneaky and stuff probably are good at climbing walls too. Well, a little. I have some small talent for that. Because if you climb the walls on this side, what would the not having the ballista over there? They probably can't shoot you. If you get close enough, the arrow slots don't matter. Very smart. That's right. True. You're right. Should have cared more about my character's weight. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We won't shame you. Thanks. I still don't think I'm going to be able to climb that wall, <laughs> but we'll try. Well, if I climb it and leave a rope, would that help? I think Stefan would probably be generous in all of his kindness and everything. So. Sure. He's oh. notoriously generous. Yeah. <laughs> uh, very easygoing DM. Uh, uh, I guess yeah. we're trying to sneak. Yeah, we'll do a little sneak, a yeah. little climb, a little rope drop. Yeah. yeah. What's up? As, as we're going around, uh, it seems towards, we're going this way, mm -hmm. uh, clockwise, if that's. We're going clockwise. What's 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stefan's 12 o'clock. So that's so and Carlton, everybody, my assistant. Yay! Hey. He's going to be the ninja that moves all the little miniatures around. DM, how would you say, uh, how thick is the underbrush if we go, if we were to go counterclockwise, so uh, towards the audience here? How thick is that underbrush over there? Particularly, if we were to light a fire, mm. um, is there enough to like catch fire? Oh yeah, you could definitely light a tree on fire. Uh, I had a group that did that this weekend. In real life or in the game? No, no, in the game. In the yeah. game. <laughs> Burnt down half the forest. <laughs> uh, but, uh, they have cut down trees that are close to the tower so they can okay. shoot at you. So there's about, um, you know, about 30 feet around the tower where you're exposed 
if you approach the power. I, I may offer I just, the yeah. shield and armor are a bit, you know, heavy, uh, but I do have some torches and the tinderbox. Uh, if someone was able to, you know, sneak somewhere over here and start a fire, maybe we could then regroup and head into the back way, climb up the wall while they're all looking at that. What kind of character do you have, by the way? Oh, I'm a Ruck stone lifter. I'm a fighter thief, dwarven fighter thief. Dwarven fighter thief. Yep, yep. Forged dwarven fighter thief. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, with I a like it. deep, vicious hatred of goblins. Mm. All right. Well, are any of you really good with fire? I... And fast enough to catch up? I I got really short legs, so... <laughs> I mean, I can be good with fire, and I'm, I could be fast enough to, to do the thing, and then to get back over here, I suppose. Not me. I've got plates. You I'm have heavy. plates? What kind of character are you? Uh, I am playing uh, Vigo Anja, uh, an elven uh, fighter thief. Elven fighter thief? Yes. Uh, Who does not quite hate anybody just yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give it time. You're like the only one with serious heavy armor. Oh, I can armor. handle this. Yeah. And I'm not going to do it right now, but I can cast fly upon you. That would make me very mobile. I've got you. <laughs> well, this sounds like a plan as soon as one of you decides to go over there and set something on fire. All right, give me, give me the torches and the, and the flint and steel. Hand over a torch and uh, the tinder box. And I'm sure someone has flint and steel. Oh, yes, you all have flint. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. Yep, Yay. here you go. I don't even, if you have it too, then you don't even mind. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to sneak. Uh, my name is Farisha May. Uh, I'm going to sneak over there. All <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sneak over there all uh, sneaky like. Ocean 5. <laughs> and, uh, and light something on fire. All right. Where's, where are you going to light something on fire? Uh, over there where, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's start there. Yeah, let's start yeah. with the bush and hope that it catches the tree. Oh, look at oh, this bush. Wow. It's on fire. I am actively setting this on fire. And so the rest fire, of us are fire. sneaking to the back area, right? right. We're yes. distracting yes. them yes. to go cool that way. We are sneaking oh, from the back. I see, I see. Oh, well, seems to have worked. Uh, these uh, hobgoblins are running over to see what's going on from the battlements. They, they, they run over to the, to the side here. You hear the mumbling and hobgoblin. Hey, hey, fire, what is happening? Hey, perhaps we should notify Grunhilda. Ah, I don't know. Let's see what happens first. I cast fly upon our plated mail friend. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Wow, I can fly. You suddenly feel very buoyant. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be very hard to get used to. Uh, can I get up to where the uh, hobgoblins like, get behind them that are at the top? Well, I suppose that uh, as you have this feeling come over you, you suddenly feel like, and, 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 and it's sort of like you, you have this knowledge that if you just sort of think yourself forward, you sort of end up moving in that direction. And then you like think harder and you're like, oh my God, you start to go in the direction you're visualizing yourself to go. Okay, so I'm going to slowly sink myself closer to that tower. All right. From this, from this section. Oh, there he goes. There you go. <laughs> He's floating. How are you up. floating? How are you? Just <laughs> oh my God. This is, this is the best special effects ever. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. Uh, and you go to land uh, inside the the wall yes. there. Yes. Do I? It floats down inside the battlements. Do I have a rope? <laughs> I was just gonna say. <laughs> I just realized oh, I can't look here without a rope. Oh my god. <laughs> Ruck will turn around with the rope right Is it as you're on your gone. character sheet. Do you have? A... Uh, I have a blanket oh. that is not locked. Up. Oh boy. Well, a blanket is just a short rope. <laughs> it is just a short rope. Uh, okay. Does anyone have a, a bow and arrow? Oh. Well, I, I've got a bow and arrow. Well, yeah, but you don't have a rope. <laughs> I don't have a rope. Uh, Stefan, I, I will try and sneak fire. up. Now that they're all over here, I'll come up from behind and get, try to get next to the wall. And, and what yeah. kind of character do you have? 
Uh, I am playing Bertrolf Silverstring, a uh, quick drawing by my friend Ben Seekert here, uh, which I will share for you folks down there. Nice. Oh, nice. Uh, I am a halfling rogue. I'm called Silverstring, not because of the loot that I have, but because of this silver garrot that I'm oh, always playing with. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Wow. So, a sneaky fellow. Yeah. I'm very concerned about getting this diamond. Yeah. Uh, so I will try and sneak up from the backside to get by the wall. So you're sneaking up this way up to the tower. Um, hmm. Well, most of the, for some reason, no arrows are coming out of the arrow slits. I don't know, maybe because it's daytime and most of the hobgoblins are asleep. There's just a few sentries out, the rest of them. Are, doesn't seem to be any people manning the arrow slits below, so you do not get fired upon. Uh, you've run right up to the tower. These hobgoblins are on this side. Everyone's looking this way towards the fire. They've been distracted. I will try to climb up in a way where I am not underneath one of those right. barrels of oil. What's your chance to <laughs> climb? Uh, I have an 84. Okay, percentage dice under 84. 50 even. Easily, you easily climb up the tower. If we were to say you, you make it all the way to the top right about at the time when... Uh, one of these hobgoblins starts to walk to the other side. Hurr, I better go to the other side. Hurr, see if anything's <laughs> happening over there. I quick hide behind him. Oh, great. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, what do you do? Well, uh, so I'm up on top of the tower. I see him following. And she's just lit something on fire. Uh, what are those two? Are they moving and What closer? are you guys doing? Um, now that he's proven that someone can go up there without getting pierced by arrows, I will also go to the back tower and climb up. Okay. okay. And you my a... climb walls is 99%. Wow. And what, was your, what is your character? Uh, my character is a master thief. Ooh. Stella. Um, Very high level. Just sort of going, well, one more height. There's Might always be worth retiring. One, right? Yeah. <laughs> Might not. Well, just be one more. Oh, just Last one more. <laughs> um, and that's a 59. So. So you also easily climb up to the top. Yeah. Uh, and uh, okay, on that side, right at the moment you're climbing up, you see this hobgoblin coming around the corner, spots you. It's like, oh, intruder! Huh? And uh, we're now going to roll for initiative. Because it looks like you're about to be fired on point blank by a hobgoblin. Ten sided die for initiative. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they get a six. Nice. Ah, and if you have a oh, high dexterity, you can lower it. Right. How high was it? 16 or 17? Mm -hmm. uh, if you start? have a 16, 17, or 18, you can lower your roll by negative one, negative Ooh. two, negative three. Got it. And you're very, you all have probably very high dexterity, so. Yeah. yeah um, zero. Zero. Anyone better than zero? Okay. Your first act. Oh, I see that things are getting a little silly, and my first instinct is to do nothing. But <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, boss. The second instinct <laughs> is to cast Spider Climb upon myself. Ooh. So Great. I can join them up at the top before arrows start to fly. And so I concentrate and I pull out um, little spider legs out of this vial and I eat them and suddenly my arms and my legs, I, get, I have like eight legs or four wow. legs and four arms and I just start. Wow, okay. Spider. Well, you're gonna have to cross, you cast the spider crime in the eye and you're just crossing across the, uh, the open area like a spider. And uh, what's your movement rate? My movement is... Upper right upper corner. Upper right. Bottom of the... 14. 14. 14. 14 inches. 14 inches. So uh, let's see. That's about... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You're almost at the top of the tower uh, looking like a spider. Oh, there we go. You got some... Control snot to secure you on the <laughs> edge there. I definitely Wonderful. There she's not, at with you. Nice. Crawling. I definitely do not want to be under oil. Just one throw that up there. Oh, so you make sure you're not 
crawl under where this oil yeah. vat is. Because okay. nice. that could come into play. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Awesome. All right. So that was on zero. On one, two. I got two. Two. Yes. Uh, so I believe that I am still over here with my uh, with my fiery friend, uh, Mr. Mr. Bush. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what was your character again? Yeah. Um, I am Sarisha May. I am uh, just a normal thief. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, a lot of thieves around. It's All almost right. like we're trying to thief something. Okay. Uh, um, my movement is 14 inches. Do I see? I see there are still kind of, there are still hobgoblins that are looking this, this way. Side. Yeah. Well, one of them has walked over this way. Mm -hmm. Who knows what he's going to do when he goes on six? Uh, um, I would like to uh, move silently towards the tower so that they are still more distracted by the fire than by me. From on this side? Yes, on this side. Because I can kind of see that there's nobody. What's your move silently? Uh, uh, move silently is 55. All right, roll under there. 25. You make it totally silently. You've moved to the base of the tower. Are you coming straight to the tower or are you coming around? Um, I'm trying to come. I can see that there's there are still hobgoblins that are looking this way. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to come that way. Coming from here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're saying she was over here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, oh, well, you have a long way to go. Then. I do. That's, yeah. That's okay. What's your moving rate? Fourteen. Okay. So it's going to be a while. That's okay. Yeah. Couple turns to get over. Could I have moved a little bit more direct, or should I? Or well, that would I, then you'll be exposed. You are correct. I'm fine. You I'm can do fine. that. Nope, I'm fine. <laughs> 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 Better to take the long way. All right, that was on two, three. Three. Um, I'll, um, so I can see the hobgoblins noticed our large friend in metal. Um, so I will. Try using my sling to silence him before he can set up an alarm. Mm, ah. Ooh, Since I have a sling, it's a well, nice sling, metal ball. The sling ha uh, has a great distance, I believe. Yes. Uh, I think a sling does. Yeah, that's not a dart. I don't sling. have. Yeah, it's a sling. Um, however, that is a near armor class eight. Oh, that's not going to hit. Plus, behind the battlements, it's negative four to hit them. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yes. I'm up top. Oh, she's up here. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Uh, I'm the blonde. That uh, still does not hit. Yeah, well. That ricochets off the uh, the armor of the hobgoblin. All right. On three, four, five, six. You got a five. Five. Oh, he has a five. No, you have a five. You no, have I have a six. I have a six, too. Also. Oh, <laughs> simultaneous with the uh, bug, the... Hobgoblin. Mm. Uh, who has a better dexterity? 17. You. Uh, did they notice me hiding behind uh, Chris's character? Uh, well, this one does not really see you. No, you're behind. He's um, really more concerned with the person right in front of him. It's been many years, but is it possible to line up a backstab? I can't see behind the tower. Oh, well... I mean, you would probably need to go all the way around the tower to his back. That seems like a quick way to get spotted. <laughs> there's, there's another but you're short. here that's looking this way. Oh, I like that you idea. You could sneak by I him. will try and sneak and murder that one. Oh, yeah, you could backstab that one. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm, an, I'm an equal opportunity murderer. So in order to <laughs> we sneak get him, to say. you would have to move silently. I will try. What's your chance? Uh, my chance for move silently is 93. Oh, God. You're unbelievably high level. Uh, I have a 21. You made it. So he sneaks up behind his half and you can roll to attack uh, at a plus four to hit because you're stabbing him from behind. Uh, ooh. I hit armor class math because I've gone off your chart. Uh, negative seven. Oh, then that's a hit, definitely. Oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, that is a hit for uh, what is it? Times four? Yeah, times four, times four for us. Times I think. four, times uh, four damage. No. So roll Amazing. your damage. 
I don't think he's going to make it. <laughs> uh, um, 16. 18 yeah. points. Yeah. Oh, my God. You totally. How does it happen? What, what do you oh, do? <laughs> I just kind of come up behind him, and I loop my garrote around his neck and stab him through the back so that he can't mm. scream out. Oh. Oh. oh no. so nice. Nice. You so there isn't even that. a scream. <laughs> I just kind of try to, I try to lay him down lightly wow. and so that he can be hidden, but oh my God, he's so much bigger than me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so there's like a gurgling sound. And it's the cob goblin hits the ground. Thump. And that's about all the sounds that occur. Okay, great. That's on your move. Uh, someone right. else was on? So Ruck is, uh, is also on a six. And I think if I look around me to my left and my right, there's literally no one else there. They're all up on the tower except for me. <laughs> You're all alone in the forest. So I'll grunt and move towards the tower. <laughs> and can you climb wearing armor? Uh, yeah. Why not? <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> Mind's eye, I what, see. What kind of armor do you have? I have uh, elven chain with shield, with a shield and a giant yeah. battle axe. You put the shield on your back. Yeah, it's just like, you know, it's like an escalator, but yeah. not moving. Yeah, yeah so, um, grumbling the whole way. Oh, so you, you send a guy with the blade in there, he doesn't have any rope, and then you got a wizard here, and he's going to eat the spiders, and he's like the most important part of the group, and he's living in the trees. <laughs> now I'm walking up, and I'm like, oh, sling this around, all right. All right, Ooh, 300 pounds of pure force. And I'll go for a climb, I guess. 92% uh, chance. I'm much better climbing walls than I thought. 92% chance success with a 61. OK, you make it. Wow, you then it's 14, pretty easy. That's 14 inches of movement also. Right. Uh, there's a lot of there's people no and such happening. So where on the wall do you want to go up? We could. Um, I think uh, strategically, I'd like to be just underneath the sorceress saying, hey, go ahead, now. boss, you first. I'm right behind you just in case somebody <laughs> comes from behind. Right, so I move my skirts her. up <laughs> oh, and I wrap them around What is this? Like to do over here? What is this? Mm. Hey. Slightly to the left. <laughs> Those yeah. dwarves. Yeah. <laughs> this is a family outfit. Jeez. <laughs> it's coming. Slightly to the left. All right, yeah, so yeah. You're, you're heading up the tower on six. On six, the hobgoblin goes, and what he's going to do is shoot two arrows point blank at. Uh, who's this again? Uh, Vigo. Yes, oh. Vigo. Okay, Vigo. what is your armor class? It is one. Ooh, pretty good armor class. All right, my God, if an armor class like that it needs an eighteen, Ooh. hit you. Twelve is a miss. Twenty is a hit. Oh, Twenty is a no. hit. And I actually have a die of doom for that. <laughs> what is that going to be? Double damage. Oh, oh, no. oh, my God. Oh, my God. So you point blank, you get hit with an arrow that does uh, six points of damage, double 12 points of damage. Oof. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my yeah. God. Because we're so oh, close. He's just like, you know, flesh wound and all that. Yeah. yeah. So we've drawn first blood. Oh, no, it's second blood, I guess. Right. It's fine if you don't notice me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good with that. <laughs> so, but I think you're still alive. So. Yes. Yeah, you're still alive. For now. And uh, <laughs> remember this, so uh, on seven, eight, nine. It is my turn now. Uh, oh, payback. Okay. Retaliate. So Vigo, after taking this arrow, uh, probably across the face, is going to pull out his uh, longsword and then say in Hobgoblin, I wish you hadn't done that. And I walk over oh, yeah. and I stand <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right. Um, D20. Mm -hmm. uh, that is an 18. Uh, I'm so, yeah, you, off you, the board. Yeah, I'm off the board. He's off, he's off your chart, yeah. yeah. That's All a right, hit. So 1D8 plus 10. Yeah. That is a 1. So oh. 6 damage. Ooh. So one is six, okay. Six points of damage, and wow, lo and behold, that is enough to, to slay this uh, hobgoblin sentry. But they're not, you know, very powerful monsters, hobgoblins. So okay. you just, how does it happen? Uh, I walk up to him after saying that, and I gently just push my sword into his chest. 
and then tip him off the balcony. <laughs> nice. Lifts him up and <laughs> throws him off the balcony. And uh, he goes, ah, as he's dying, he's screaming, <laughs> thuds on the ground. And uh, that causes, causes quite a stir, I think, mm. in uh, <laughs> Hobgoblinville. That's a fun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's a fun. Okay. Uh, did everyone go? Everyone mm -hmm. came. I think you're doing a good job with New that. New round. <laughs> New round, everybody. Ten sided die for initiative. Right. Okay. I need to be a tad slow this round. Anyone on a zero or lower? A one. That's a ten. How are you going to. Well, one. Well, you can you can go. I'm at a, I'm at a one. A one. On a one. Uh, is there there's no hobgoblin left up here, correct? Uh, I believe no. we've killed both of them. Oh, yeah, one was murdered up here, and the other was thrown off the tower. I'm gonna continue to sneak around just in case I there might be a person. All right. Or looking for a trap door, or a secret door, or some sort of way in. Some sort Incredibly, of. Incredibly, you don't see a door. You don't find a secret door. All you can see is a window about ten feet up. Does it look right like a window here. that that I could fit in? Sure, you could climb climb up and into the window. I will try to just sneakily look yeah. into the window. You look inside and you see a room with a sort of fancy bed. Uh, oh, very nice. Mm. There you go. Ah, there you go. Oh, there you go. oh look so at this. Fancy. This oh, must be. Fancy. Uh, Grunhilda's fancy, uh, bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I can see you it know, so much clearer it's now. It's bed, the bed chamber. <laughs> Must be her bed chamber. Uh, and there is, uh, she doesn't need a door, because who knows, she has magical powers. And, uh, and Grunhilda's not in the room. She is not in the room. No. Mm. Yeah. Well, I don't know. A, a lady might hide her valuables in her boudoir. Ooh. So I will. Actually, she's a witch. I will check the window for traps before I proceed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what is the chance for you to detect this? 70. All right. Wow. We're going to employ this level up dice uh, mm. situation here. Sure. Why don't you roll these? Oh, you these? want me to roll them? Yes, because it's your roll. Oh. You just can't see it. I can't see them. All right, so look away. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. I've got these wonderful device that only shows. Yeah, okay. What was your chance again? Uh, find trap 70. You don't think there are any traps there? Okay, I will, <laughs> I will slide into the room. Slides into the room. And try and stay hidden. Nothing, nothing happens as he goes to the window, and then you step onto the ground, and... Uh, Wow, your foot goes down. There seems to be a rock on the ground that depresses when you hit the floor, oh, and uh, you hear a snapping sound. This is his fault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was your armor class? Uh, zero. Zero. All right. There is a, a, a snapping sound or a twang sound, and uh, you just in time you, you feel this rush of wind as a, uh, a dart heads in your direction. Does it hit you? Oh. Ooh, a five is a miss. Oh, so you, but you were just enough to duck, and maybe it was aimed at, at someone who would be higher. <laughs> yeah. It goes over your head. Whoosh, poison dart just missed. It's that heightism again. Uh, Gets them every time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but you are now in the bedroom of Grunhilde, and you see that there is uh, this luxurious bed. Um, there is oh, by the bed there is a little table with a, a vial of blue liquid. Mm. Mm. Ah. I think next round I'll probably go over there and check it out. All right. Uh, what were we on there? That was one. One. Initiative of two. That is me. Um, so from where I am, I can see that balcony area. Do I see any one hobgoblin or otherwise on that balcony? Uh, none up here, but on this balcony, there are two hobgoblins manning ballistas. Oh, <laughs> great. Those are nasty. They're, Those are yeah. nasty. They're like, they, they shoot big spears. They, they, 
Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to keep moving silently through the trees. <laughs> All right. All right. Mm -hmm. What's your movement rate? Move silently of uh, 55, and my movement speed is 14. All right. Another 14 squares, 14 inches. And my roll was a 16. They totally do not hear, detect you at all as you move along the tree line. All right, you're hanging out here by You're getting yourself. closer. That's cool. Now you feel like you're sort of not in the visual of these hobgoblins, although you do see a bunch of arrow slits here. Yeah. And, oh. You see a dead hobgoblin about right there. Oh, yeah, there's a hobgoblin on the ground. <laughs> cool. Someone threw him off the tower, and uh, Who there's... Who could have uh, done this? Oh, my God. Your sharp eyes, you detect what you thought you saw movement in one of the arrow slits uh, on this level. Yeah. Uh, so where I am. Yeah. So you, you have a thought that maybe something has awoken in there and is manning the arrow slits, perhaps. Or it was just a ghost. You know. I'm going to think ghost and uh, nothing else. <laughs> Initiative of three, four, five. Six, seven, seven, seven. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Team players. Wow. Yeah. All right. What are you going to do? Um. Okay. So he threw the guy off. Uh. There's no other obvious entrance into there. Uh. So I'll move around to the window. And assuming that a short person to get in it, I'm and a human sized person get in that window. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will also check for traps because I don't believe trust even short people to have actually disabled a trap, let alone finding it. Right. <laughs> oh. oh sorry. Watch out for the roll. Oh, oh re-roll. All right, look away. Look away. Okay. The glasses off and almost as good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, you don't think there are any traps there? Okay. I will heft myself through and see him standing right underneath the window. Um, I point at the trap. The I point. I point at the trap. Oh, you point, point at out the trap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can I get in without hitting the trap or him? Or could I? Just, I guess I could just stand on your shoulder. <laughs> Mm, you could also climb down. You have very good climbing abilities. And yeah. So you were related to each other in, in, yeah. in Thieves Can't Trap, you know? Yeah. And uh, Okay, so mm. I uh, make a point of climbing around and down then without yeah, hitting you have, the What's trap? your climbing chance? My climbing chance is 99%. Mm. <laughs> okay, go give it a roll. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Hundreds happen. I think you're going to... You know, yeah, that's a 51. It. Yeah, all right. Uh, so you easily climb down, not on the stone that goes down. And, uh, and and not on him. Yeah, you see what he sees, the, the bedroom, and there's like a night table with a blue vial, and uh, but that's it. You, yeah. Um, it's a very large bed that takes up a lot of the space, you know? And, uh, but you don't, don't see immediately uh, a door anywhere. Okay. You know? Again, we're going to have to find another door. Hmm. All right. I believe that's all I can do. Oh, all right. On seven. On eight. Where's no, seven. seven. The other on seven. seven. Yeah. Uh, okay. Seven. The other seven. Do you want me to go first? Well, you're kind of like. Yeah. Kind of. Um, well, in that case, I would like to move all the way up and get as close to the window as possible. All right. So you continue your spider climb up into the crenellated area. And I make my way to the window, and I just tuk, 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 peer in. Correct. So he crawls along the side of the tower and peers into the window like a spider. And I see my thieves. They're in there. Is it OK? Can I come in? You, ha you have to be careful. There is a trap. But don't worry. It only attacks tall people. Oh, I'm quite tall. And then I kind of spider climb in through the wall, and I would like to look around for, oh, uh, no, I jump on the bed. <laughs> he jumps onto the bed. <laughs> it's very soft oh. and flush. Yeah. Uh, 
that uh, nothing nothing happens, you know. All right, uh, Ruck's going to finish climbing up the wall as well, and uh, we'll move to where the window is. And I can't quite see from here, but it looks like there's some sort of like embellishments along the tower of some kind. What what would be um, underneath the window? Like if I'm underneath the window looking out back into the forest, what's below me in the tower? Um, if you're under the window, like yeah. here. On the so outside? Yeah, on the um, outside, yep. It's, um, it's just for ventilation. Like if you look down, I don't know that you can see much. And is there anything that you could tie off a rope to? Oh, it's easily you can tie a rope to all kinds of things up here. Yeah, I may take the rest of my turn to tie a rope uh, in this area that we can toss over if we're going to get out. Okay. Um, right. Since we didn't use it climbing up, and uh, we can tie it off, and then if we need to bail, we can just rope and gone. Okay. Yeah. I think. Uh, yep. That rope can go all the way down to the ground from there. Perfect. All right. That was on seven. Everybody went. Oh, the uh, hobgoblin. What is happening? You hear perhaps uh, some commotion from you. You Wow, who has, let's see. Can everybody roll a six-sided die? Did anyone get a one? I did. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm on the ground. You, I don't know if that matters. Well, you're, you're on the ground. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, okay. No, you don't hear it. <laughs> well, then that's fine. <laughs> I will put my D6 back. Anyone get a two? I got two. Oh, okay. Well, you you all sort of hear um, the noise and the commotion, and they seem to be coming from beneath the bed. Hmm. I think I found the door, and I look down as I'm sitting on the bed. <laughs> yeah, you, look, you look under the bed, and sure enough, beneath the bed, there's like a hatch. That's uh, although it's not open, that that is where the sound is is coming through. I wooden say, hatch. I look to my friends and I say, "Okay, if you can open this, I'll just blast a flaming sphere down this this little area, and we'll be um, free to go through." What if we? Uh, that's a great idea. What if we also pour all these barrels of oil down there at the same time? Oh, but there's a there are walls between us and. Well, they're right outside the window. Yeah, sure. We pass them through. Yeah. Uh, there, there is a vat of boiling oil out there for the, um, you know, the buckets. I'll try to carry it in when I come in the window. <laughs> okay. So they're very heavy. I mean, these are you know, and they're very hot. Yeah. There's like a fire yeah. underneath yeah. them, yeah. Like and to you don't want to touch the the iron pot. Vigo has not yet gone. Oh, yes, I agree. What are you going to do? Well, Vigo uh, can carry it. Yeah, uh, first I'm going to uh, drink a portion of this potion that I've got. Ooh. I don't okay. know, uh, it doesn't say how much I heal, it just says. Oh, you have that healing potion. Oh, well, you can take three sips. Each sip does one to eight points of healing. Okay, so I'm going to drink that because eight. Ooh, nice. Woo! Right, that nice. hobgoblin hit me. And then, <laughs> that was not pleasant. No. And then I'm going to attempt to carry this barrel over to the window. Ooh. Wow. Um, how are you going to do that? It's very hot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an iron pot. I've um, got a blanket. I'm going to try and wrap it up. <laughs> oh. You're going to use the blanket. Okay. And uh, I guess you double it over and then you put it around. And what, What's your strength? Uh, 18 slash 07. Wow, well, you're very strong. You're very strong. If you can roll under your strength, I'm going to say that you managed to uh, lift it up and very quickly move over to the window. Roll the 20? Yes. Okay. 20 sided. That is a 13. You managed to Woo. do it. You're nice. hobbling over there, and then you're like, oh my god, I got to lift it straight up. That's going to require another strength check. Put <laughs> 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 up right above your head, the hot oh. boiling oh, oil. Oh, boy. Do it! Do, do it! it. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good thing I drunk that potion. Uh, that is a, is that a one? Yeah, yeah that's a one. Ooh. Oh, that's good in this. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> <very good. laughs> you, you make it look easy. You're like, up, and you manage to just sort of maybe push it onto the edge of the windowsill. <clears throat> An incredible strength effort. 
you guys can take it from here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fantastic idea. I'm just going to stay on the bench. <laughs> Uh, what is the idea? <laughs> I was really hoping that Rockwood's going to move it. <laughs> I'm a thinker. I'm not a doer. It's not my uh, forte. Well, there is a big pot of boiling oil Over teetering on the edge of the windowsill. Over your head. We could potentially all stand on the bed, open the hatch, and just spill it on the floor. Well, somebody's going to have to move the bed, and not not moving until the bed is moved, and this whole situation's handled. Well, I guess I could try to move the bed. I got a question. Can I still fly? Um, I think that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah. I think it lasts okay. quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. So yeah. then, um, now that I've taken a breather from sitting it up there, I'm going to try and. Uh, fly into the available space and come inside the window with everybody else and try to drag it on. Drag okay, it on. now, 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 it's a big vat and, and, and the space <laughs> above the vat is kind of small now. Oh, okay, no, then I'll just wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus, you're not a great flyer. I mean, you just yeah. learned, you know. Like, <laughs> you're like a baby bird. <laughs> Need your training wheels. Yeah. Uh, I've, um, I'm just sitting on the bed. All of my arms and all of my legs are crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting, yeah. Um, well, what are you going to do? How many people uh, are in the Letia, room? Letia, you, you're still on the ground. I am still on the ground. All right, I'm going to take the rope. I'm going to take the rope that I just set up over there. Untie it. Crumble. Go to the other side. <laughs> toss it down to Latia. Tie it off. And yell, "Sorry." Uh, you see and a rope being lowered on this side of the tower. Okay. Um. I would like to. Uh, I mean, I saw movement, so I'm still going to be careful in my moving toward the tower. You are going to move toward the tower? Yes. <laughs> yes, I okay. am. Come on up. We've got them all, all right. taken care of. So he's carefully moving toward the tower. Uh -huh. as, let's see. He leaves cover and then choo, 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 choo. Ah. there is six arrows oh my flying God. towards yeah, you from these three arrow slits. I decided to take that risk. It's okay. Uh, what is your my armor, armor class? class? is four. Four. Okay. And I need four. And then I have four. So if you have more, that would mean we need a 14 to hit you out this in the open there. So that's a miss. That's a hit. Oh no. That's a hit. That's a hit. That's a miss. Okay, three. So three. Three hits. I'm feeling very bored here right now. Eleven hit points of damage. All right. As you you watching whoever's watching. That'd be me. You rock. You're like I've lowered the rope and then you see her go out. Runs towards the rope and then you see like arrows just flying everywhere. In your horror, you watch three arrows are sticking out of your. What do you have, armor? Yeah, just leather armor. Leather armor. They're stuck in your leather armor. It just like, looks like a, a pin cushion oh, no. running towards the tower. But right. you do manage to get to the base of the tower in one one dash. Okay. And now you're sort of beneath them, so they can't really sort of get to you. Mm -hmm. And you grab the rope, but you're going to have to climb up next round. That's okay. All right. Well, that was a little hairy. All right. <laughs> um, that was... Was that everybody this round? Yeah. Mm -hmm. everybody New that round. Roll for initiative. Oh, oh that was oh, okay. worse than it could have been. Better than wrong. Anyone on a zero or lower? Minus one. Minus one? Minus two. Minus Ooh. three nice. goes first. I, excuse me, minus two. But, um, All right. Who's counting? Okay, who's counting? Okay, so I guess I'm moving the bed. All right. What's your strength? Here. My strength's 17. Oh, you're pretty strong. You know, I mean, it's a pretty big bed, so. Yeah. Um, and, you know, before I move it, I'm going to check it for traps. Oh, what is your chance? Uh, fine, with 70. 70. Okay, we'll roll the blue dice again. Oh, that's right. Yeah. The blue ones for us. The blue ones. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you, know, you don't think there's any traps on the bed? Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
roll uh, under your strength. 20 sided die. See if you can roll under. Uh, no, actually, I can't. <laughs> oh. Ugh, you it's, see her struggling. It's because the boss is on it. Does anyone help her? <laughs> she has she has oh, eight times the legs now. That's also I that's do. right. That's an I extra do. I heavy. Have extra, but I'm not stepping on this ground, and I want no part of any of this. You must try harder. <laughs> <laughs> Try harder, care more. <laughs> Is anyone else going to help her? Uh, I guess I will try to help her. Alright. See if you're both pushing. Uh, 3 out of 14. I'm going to say that if both of you are pushing, you do manage to slowly push the bed aside. Uh, yeah, revealing this I'm, wooden hatch. While I'm pushing it, All of the armor. I, uh, I kind of whisper to Satine's character, so, uh, if the other rogues outside don't get in alive, does that mean our share is bigger? Yes. Excellent. Let's get this thing open. Yeah. <laughs> that goes without saying, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, not always. Not always. <laughs> but there's honor among thieves, isn't there, right? Somewhere. It's somewhere a kind of honor. <laughs> yeah. We shall see. Maybe. Uh, all right, so you managed to explode. What, what is your action? Anyone on? Um, I... Will, is there like a ring on the trap door or some way to lift it up? Yeah, there's like a, a ring that you turn and just pull up. All right, I will tie my rope to it so that I can get up on the bed and eventually pull it up. Because oh. I don't want the oil to get on me when it is yeah. spilled. All right. So I get up there and I tie okay. the rope and I get on the bed. And I don't pull it open yet because we're ready not ready. ready to pull it open. Yeah. Okay. And what do the rest of you do? Oh, you're you're waiting to get in. You're like, what's happening? She is bed. at the base of the tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah. getting on the bed with them. You're on the over. bed. The moment Latia is, uh, sorry, the moment that uh, Sharisha May mm -hmm. grabs the uh, rope, my very strong dwarf, 18 slash 25, will pull the rope up and help her oh. very quickly get to the top of the tower so as not to take any more. Arrows. It's like a super. Yeah, Elevator. It's like a, it's like a bearded there. pulley system. <laughs> the bearded pulley system. Yeah. All right. Well, so that happens, and uh, you know, you're very capable of holding this rope, and you get super pulled up to the tower, and uh, you're now all up there. And uh, what happens next? Now that you're all sort of in position. We yell, push the oil bucket over. All right, so I give it a push. And I he, yank it open. He takes his blanket and he pushes the thing and whoosh. Oh my God, there's like a fizzling sound and oil. You open it and the oil comes rushing down and, and hot boiling oil is going down into the level below. What is in the level below? Ooh. Show them what they've won. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know what level Pat Purser was in? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I read it was right below the bedroom. You're thinking of that now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh dear. Look Pat at that. It's going to be so bad. There is a oh. torture oh. chamber. Uh oh. Uh -oh. There is a, yeah. There's some kind of torturous device. An iron maiden against the wall, and oh, a barrel of ale. And then stairs going further down. So, uh,. You go to peer over the bed, you peer, and it, that's what you see from above. But it's also kind of the only ones that can really see this are the ones you can see in the dark because there are no windows and it's very dark in there. It's getting very dim down there. The faint, faint, a bit of the, the daylight is coming down so you can see a little bit, but it's yeah, very that dark. That would not be neat. Um, does, anyone, does anyone not see in the dark? I don't believe I do not. I mean, I I'm not in there, you're but you're human. Not. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, are you gonna do something about that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can, I can make it very bright for six seconds. Well, I was thinking since we poured the oil down there, would it work if I um, did the whole Tinder thing and just burn the oil so how, it's bright? How fast does that stop burning? I think it just keeps burning, and we are above it. So, well, that probably wouldn't be a good idea then. Mm -hmm. I would think that 
there's not that much oil. It's a pretty big room. Wouldn't it burn off? I was assuming that the floor isn't slim. Oh, that's the question. Mm. Is it's the floor stone, the same? It's a stone okay. floor. There you go. It's a stone floor, not wooden? Uh, it, it's, yeah, no, it's stone. And, and, uh, and the stairs are stone? But there is a wooden keg and a wooden torture device. Well, I don't trust that the keg might not be something that's going to go boom. So I'll, um, I'll light a torch and try to throw it onto the wooden torture device. Wow, okay. Which doesn't, mind, yeah, I mean. She just lights up a torch. Want, doesn't sound like, you and know, I really want to. <laughs> throw the torch down <laughs> into the burning oil and it, whoosh, there's a big roar. It's uh, very distracting. And uh, I'm going to say uh, roll a 20-sided dice <laughs> to see if uh, against breath weapon. Against breath weapon? Yeah. Okay. So you, you roll high. You need to roll high. You need to roll high. Breath this time. weapon. Woo! 19. Nice. Nice. Woo. You just managed to pull your head away <laughs> after dropping this torch. It's like almost like an explosion. of whoo! The whole room just kind of bursts up into flames. And you see she goes like, like this and fire shoots up out of the, the portal. The fireman's beginning to look Im really good. Immediately, <laughs> it's billowing smoke starts to fill the room, and you all start coughing. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh God. <laughs> what a distraction. Uh, oh, my God. Well, my planned uh, distraction works. I palm that potion. Oh, OK. Mm. Uh, what's your chance? 90%. If they pick pockets. Yeah. yeah. 78. Yeah, nobody notices. You just kind of right. take the potion. And uh, but now you're immediately all starting to cough. Uh, everybody, make a roll oh, under no. your constitution. See if you can roll under your constitution. This also counts nice. for the three of us who are outside. Nope. Uh, no. Only the people in the room. And managed it. You managed it. Oh, you are starting. Sorry, you're boss. Helplessly coughing. You're like, oh, <laughs> you're coughing. You're 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 unable to do anything else but but cough and maybe walk. Uh, and you're in great peril right now. You, you don't want this to ha to last very long. Open the windows. Oh, uh, there is only <laughs> there, there is one window, and it is open. Uh, are you going to head for the window, Dad? I am not. I will. Yeah, I will. I s go onto the wall and kind of spider yeah. climb to the yeah. edge and stick my head up. Yeah. This is also going to last. I believe it's seven rounds. I believe it's the mm. lasting. So we may be almost at the end of the spider climb of this. Okay. So with your last action, probably climbing around and, and, and launch yourself out of the window. Oh my God! And billowing smoke is pouring out. My arms and, and legs uh, just go. Yeah. <laughs> drop down onto the battlements. Uh, who I'm, else is in the room? Oh no, I'm not in the room. I I follow her. You are. So you <laughs> you're all escaping out of the window, uh, and uh, you as well. Oh, you're staying in there in the billowing, clouding room. It's filling well, up actually, with more and I'm more smoke. I'm thinking of going down the stairs. Ooh, wow. What, there's a, a, a lot of... <laughs> First, you have to get into the room with, that's, that's on fire. Oh, okay. Um, I thought only the, but the, only the oil and the, the wooden thing. The whole okay. thing is that everything's starting to light on fire there. And right. that's right below, that's, if you look in the portal, it's raging fire in there. So okay. Not a good idea to drop in there, I, I, you know, it's mm. obvious. Yeah, I don't Unless you have some kind of I don't, magic. I, I don't have, yes. no. Um. <laughs> on the bright side, you can see. On the bright side, I can <laughs> see. <laughs> yeah, the place is lit up. <laughs> um, no, I guess I will also hold, go through the uh, mm, yeah. window. You all, you all escape out of the window. Um, the the bed is now lighted on fire. The flames are licking up. I, they've I they've caught the, the cloth. I walk to the other side where the ballistas are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I cast. And you see, there's the two hobgoblins looking up. <laughs> and I cast flaming sphere. <laughs> right on them. Right on them. All right. Let's see. Roll for initiative. Let's see. I'm gonna roll for the hobgoblin. Three. Six. Yep. You get the jump on them. And a uh, uh, flaming uh, sphere just uh, uh, suddenly appears right between them, and they immediately take damage, uh, two to eight points of damage. Yeah. 
Oh, you want to roll for that? Oh, no, please. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. It's your plane is here. 2d8? 2d8. All right. Four. Seven. Woo. Seven points. Wow. Uh, okay. Eleven. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, what I meant two, two to eight is, is two four-sided dice. Oh. That's the way I, I call it. Okay. Reroll. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, two four-sided. Three and three, six. Six. Oh, let's see. Oh, six. I think that's enough to, to, to set one of them on fire. He screams, jumps off the balcony ah, on oh. fire, and lands uh, on fire onto the ground. And the other one, it's also on fire, but not dead. He runs into, inside to the thing. Ah! I found another door. <laughs> oh, the ballistas. Uh, let's see. Wow. All right. Let's see. I think uh, one of the ballistas lights on fire. It's flaming spears right on the balcony. So. No, I doing? can roll this thing and kill the other one, I say very loudly. Um, if you would like, and I, but I'm also looking at, uh, hoping my friends are going to follow me mm -hmm. over here. <laughs> Does it seem like we'd be able to quickly get from the ledge we're on into Yeah, the, you can yeah. all go over to where she is and uh, very easily walk over there and, oh my God, you know, what's happening? All right, I'll uh, unlatch the battle axe. Thirsty for some action. Oh. Mm -hmm. Stand on the edge, waiting to drop down. You move your rock, I got the rest. Oh. Then I want to roll the flaming sphere into the room. You roll the flame into the uh, opening there, and then you're going to jump gonna down jump with down. your axe. Yep. <laughs> Woo. Well, it's, you know, it's about, what is that, about a 20-foot drop. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's, I'm sure it's safe. <laughs> All right, da -da -da. he drops down. Um, you take five points of damage from the drop, but you can handle that, right? Yeah. And yeah. the cinematic effects, I mean, it's yeah. for the audience. Yeah, it's <laughs> looking good. And, uh, okay, so this guy is in there. And the flaming sphere, here we can use this. If you don't have a flaming sphere, use a red die. And we're going to see and, when I'm uh, looking at it. That, that one is running down. On fire, he's running down the stairs to the next level. So you see that the, he's heading down the stairs to the next level, and the flaming sphere goes by him and hits the back wall. Mm -hmm. Stays in the back wall, kind of stuck. In the room, I can see quickly upon landing. Yeah, there is a, a round room with uh, three arrow slits on this side of the wall and, and stairs going further down. Just a bunch of stairs. Come on down. I'll go into the room. So do you climb you, you climb down, that should be easy for you. As easy. he jumps down, I do say, mind the next level because that's what porcupine made. <laughs> ah. <laughs> mm. And are you climbing down as well? Yes. Are you climb and are uh, did he take that rope? Because I don't want to keep taking damage here. <laughs> <laughs> no, the rope, the, I think the rope is still on the It's hanging the on, on, on this okay. side yeah. over here. It's, I'm gonna I go. Can, yeah. You can go and untie it and yeah, bring it over. Yeah, you, so you can untie it, tie it over there, and climb down the rope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are all down. Climb down. You all, you all climb. You're all on that level. Yeah. While they're climbing, I'll take my shield out. Mm -hmm. All right. So you enter out. another circular room. The stairs going down. Uh, yes. How long does my flaming sphere last? Oh, does it stay? On I can there? check. It. it says five foot per round. Here, I'll five foot per round. Uh, uh, it's just probably one sphere, round per right? level, I think. And yeah. I am a level seven. Seven rounds, probably. Um, let Let me send yeah. this down first. Oh, okay. So I want to send so the flaming sphere you down. Send the, the flaming sphere down the staircase to the next level. What's on the next level? <laughs> Arrow. Oh, that's the uh, the beds uh, where all the uh, hobgoblins were sleeping. Oh, so lots of beds, furs, straw, straw, and uh, <laughs> but, uh, there's a bunch of uh, <laughs> hobgoblins. Yeah, archers yeah. in there. 
a bunch of. I think we were meant to make such a fiery entrance. One. There is a whole bunch of arches in there. <laughs> what? Oh. You started it. Ah, I did. Uh, really <laughs> really four, four hobgoblins. Well, even more. There's five. Wow. I have no idea. Five hobgoblins in here manning the arrow slits, and uh, you see that they look up with 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 terror and surprise. As, as, as the staircase is filled with fires coming down at them, and they're like, oh, you know, and uh, wow, you can totally direct and in a small, small confined space. You can totally like whirl it around it's to hobgoblin bowling. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and they have nowhere to go. <laughs> they're, they're, well, there are stairs going down, so I, I think this one over here could probably jump down to the staircase, and the other four probably right in the line of your fire. Seven points of damage. Wow, wow. So, okay, that the first one takes seven points of damage and perishes. Okay, and then the the next one is right, right the next one to get roll for him. Oh. Uh, two. Two. That one is still alive. Burnt badly, but still alive. <laughs> Burnt badly, but Six. still alive. Six. Oh, that one is a goner. Ooh. And uh, another two. Two, that one's still alive. One of them has jumped down, so there's two left. And uh, and the whole place is now lighting up on fire uh, because there's a lot of straw beds there. And uh, once again, <laughs> smoke is billowing up. You're, I you're didn't do to it this again. time, boss. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was You're me. starting to cough again. And uh, <laughs> well, wow, uh, what are you going to do? You, you think you could maybe quickly run down through the fire and maybe run down to the next level if you're fast, if you're all very fast, which you all are. I'll take the lead. My, my thinking is if I follow the spear and then the fleeing hobgoblins, they likely yeah. will either set off any traps or avoid them. So I'm going to follow you're following, as following close down. as I can. You follow Shield out. down to the next level. And this level, you see that there is a, a, a bruised hobgoblin because he jumped down before he got set on fire <laughs> waiting to attack you. In what looks like a an armory area with lots of weapons mm. against the wall, spears, uh, axes, uh, pole arms, and uh, at that point he is attacking you. Roll for initiative. Okay. He gets a seven. Five. Five. Everybody roll for initiative. Well, you can attack him before he attacks you. Okay. Let's start with you since I'll you're do right that. there. So I'm going to use my plus three battle axe of thunder. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. And I will roll uh, an 11, which means I can hit armor class of zero. That's a hit. Okay. And I deal, um, so that's only on critical. So I rolled an eight out of a D8. Ooh. Is that oh. right? One, one, they're medium creatures? Oh, yeah. That's, look, one, yeah, that's a kill shot to 11. describe how it happened. So he uh, tries to get the jump on me. Yeah. But not before Ruck whips his... Battle axe of lightning expertly into the skull of the hobgoblin and without missing a beat, takes it out of the skull. Ready to go. Who's next? Uh, Who's <laughs> next? Falls down to the ground with a thump. And uh, you notice that here there is a a uh, hatch. Or is that the lowest level? Um, there's one level in there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. No, one more level. Uh, modular. 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 There's a hatch. It's a feature. It's yeah. a feature, not a bug. <laughs> There's a hatch with a ladder going down to the bottom level of the tower. And if you look in it, you see, oh, that that's a storeroom. And it has uh, grains, sacks of maybe rice, who knows, you know, lots of sacks. Like a giant and, bomb. Yeah. The whole tower is just a massive <laughs> explosion, like it's a rocket. Uh, above I think you, we've been doing the, the right. tower is on fire, yeah. everything is raging Glorious. in flames. Yeah, uh, you know. don't know, maybe the forest is on fire, you don't know what happened. All y'all in the group. <laughs> you know. There's a ladder down below, and I don't know where Pat so, is. Uh, right, Pat? That was yeah. Pat, Pat, yeah. Pat Purser. Pat Purser. Yeah. Pat Purser well, Pat is Purser's a not bard. In the room. Are they, is Pat Purser in the room? No, he is not there. Oh. Um, but the, you do see that on the lowest level, as you're looking at it, you see that there is more stairs, but these are going, there's like a squarish um, room that has stairs going along the edge of it, mm -hmm. going down like a spiral, but it's a square spiral. Mm. You know? It doesn't look like it goes down the storm, maybe something It goes else. down below ground. Oh. That's going to lower levels. Okay. Should... Why don't you show them that? Aha, uh -huh. we've entered 
The dungeon. Never reveal. There, there you go. There you go. Ah. I just yell, I've got like four more rounds of this flaming spear. <laughs> just point to where you want it to go. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that, that's about what it feels like. Everything really tight with the flaming spear. In there. Yeah, this yeah. flaming spear is really cool. doing a number. Cool. Uh, okay, so. Uh, on my turn, I would love to continue All the right. flaming spear. Let's do the initiative. Not in the storeroom. Not in the storeroom. Uh, anyone have initiative of one? I do. Okay. Um, I'm in the room above with the with the hobgoblins and the arrow slip, right. I do believe. So you're kind of higher up. Yes, I always like to make my way down the stairs, and right. if there are any hobgoblins in my way, I will stab them. Yeah. No, I think they are evolving to spatch. No, oh, then yeah. I will just make my way. There's down just a the lot stairs. of fire everywhere, so you're very you're quickly running through levels of fire. Uh, what's I, your movement rate? My movement is 14, but I feel like we're. If I hear that there are more stairs, I think we may be getting into something a little bit more dangerous. I'd like to coat my sword in poison. Oh, oh, that's a cool thing. Oh, so you're gonna have to do that instead of go down. So you're. Oh, so oh, to do it carefully. Yeah, um, yeah. No, then I will make my way down. That, that'll be your turn if you. No, no, I will make my way down because this tower is on fire. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, you briefly looked at your vial of poison. You thought about it. Like, eh, put it back in your pouch yeah. and you went down. Downstairs, I go. Two levels down, you can go. Yeah, I'll yeah. go all the way down. You go all the way down. All right. Oh, on the uh, two, three, oh, two, on two, two, two. Um, on two, I'm heading my way down. Uh, honest boss, I didn't turn this on fire. That's on you. That's definitely uh, me. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, meet up with the dwarf, I guess. All right, all right. So he's all the way down there. So you make it down. Uh, you. I also want to go through as quickly as possible and follow the dwarf who I now yeah. realize has a very expensive battle axe. Quick is good, <laughs> since, since everything is on fire. Quick is good. You head down. Uh, everyone else? You say everyone else heads down. Long story short, you all make it down to the basement level. So how far does the flaming spear go with him? You want to do a bullet with him? I think it was three, three, uh, three uh, inches. I believe five. you. Yeah, three <laughs> inches of, of around. Three inches. So they have to wait for it then to throw it in there. Oh, okay. It's going down. It's going no, down no, two no, levels. No, I'm actually fine with getting ahead of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, there might be a little so, clearer. So it'll probably uh, dissipate by the time we get down there. Is what I'm saying. Yes. All so right. we're going to say the, the gig is up with the flaming sphere. You've been wonderful. It's been a pleasure working with you. It's a gang of arsonists attacking the tower. <laughs> we're not Ocean's Five. We're Ocean's Fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. that Our stealthy the approach is exist. not yeah. what I expected. Oh, no. This has not been stealthy. <laughs> you're, so you're, you're, now you're at that... Uh, the, Entrance to the lower dungeons. There's the staircase, and you see it's once again very, very dark. Uh, you're past the fire, and now those of you that can't see in the dark are are, are looking into blackness. Oh. So maybe we should use the torches like they're supposed to be mm -hmm. used instead of <laughs> as um, missiles. All right. Someone lights a torch. I have one still. You light up a torch, okay? I light up a torch. I, I'm leading and have. Let's give her a torch. I have an infra infra vision. Is that the mm -hmm. correct term here? Mm -hmm. So I have in-provision, so after the flaming spear dissipates, uh, what would I see if I'm leading the party? Uh, if you look down, you would see there's this, this spiral staircase mm -hmm. heading down into the depths, and you notice that down there below, it is not totally dark. There is a very faint light, so there must be some light source down there coming from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll relay to the group. Oh, that would be nice, because torches... Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. strangely enough, when you, as you look down, the bottom of this stairwell, it's like the floor is moving or writhing. Mm. Well, I won't step on it. Yeah. How wide is this stairwell? Is it like one, one person? Uh, about five feet wide mm -hmm. and a little bit slippery, yeah, moist, damp, dark, cold. Yes, who's going down first? 
Good I'm kind of make up a marching order. I'm kind of, I'm thinking I'm probably, you know, in front of the, like I'm the closest because I was following the spear first. So it'd probably be the, the dwarf first. Fine, we'll go me. I'll go second. I'll go third. It's my time to be brave. I'll I choose next. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> I'll go last. Okay. You yeah. sure you don't want me behind you so you don't get stabbed in the back? I would like you behind me so I don't get stabbed in the back. Mm. Does anyone light a torch? Except by me. Not yet. I don't yes, so we yes. have a yes. torch lit. Oh, we do have a torch lit. Uh, who has the torch? I'm actually at uh, me in the back, so there's light shadows going in front. Ruck will so I'll be able to see the knife as it. <laughs> <laughs> Ruck will put his hand back and say, yeah. "All right, hand me the pole." Pole. Who's pole. A pole. 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 Who goes to the first edition game without a pole? <laughs> <laughs> and I also don't have a pole, so I'll take my torch and I will prod the moving floor. Oh, you you have you light up a torch? No, I'm just going to take the torch oh. unlit and I will prod it as though it is well, a well. Well, I, I mean, you're you're as you get closer, you can see clearly that it is a, a, a floor full of snakes. No. Snakes, what? snakes. I hate snakes. Yes. Why did it have, we'll have to, to be, be snakes? snakes? Why did it? Have to be? <laughs> Lots of snakes on the floor. They're just like a shallow pit, and they're writhing around uh, in this uh, snake snake area. Um, you see that, uh, but you can just <laughs> avoid it. The only way to get in that pit is if you were to fall in the pit, which you don't. And there's a few more <laughs> steps, and then there's uh, a great time for flaming more, spears. more snakes. <laughs> <laughs> there's more snakes, and then uh, beyond the the snakes, it seems like there's that's where what do we have there. Is there a lit torch over there? Um, yeah. There is a torch here. Here, on the wall. so you can see there's more snakes here. Mm. More snakes. Mm. But then there's an area where there aren't any snakes. Uh, correct. Well, it doesn't look like there's any snakes. No. Okay. There's, there's a lot of snakes. Oh. Like a lot. Yeah. If only we had more fire. <laughs> um, so what would you say the dimensions are for um, these snakes? So we have to go in that area in a, order to move forward? It's a 10 foot wide passageway, and I think there's 10 feet of snakes. And then you could, if you could get past that 10 feet of snakes, there's a, a clear area. Oh, I would like to levitate the snakes. You're going to levitate the snakes? I have, yes, 20 feet per round. Wow. Uh, 300 pounds. It's a 20 foot ceiling. So I can just levitate them up, we can move under, and then we can lower them yes, again. Yes, yeah. you can do okay. that. Love that. Yeah, okay, I wow. I go like this. <laughs> oh, the snakes rise. They're very surprised. I feel like, I feel like you should have used, uh, you should have used a recorder to do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> snakes all rise. Are you all going to hustle through? Go for it. Yeah. yeah. All right. They, they all move forward. Hopefully, there's a back the door out. And, uh, what Hopefully, do they there's a beyond? back door out of this place. There's a door in front. The dwarf is in front. Do you see a room and uh, they're coming into a room? Yeah. You go forward. They're real snakes, right? Like they're yeah, like. Yeah, you're, you're very <laughs> worried that they're going to drop at any minute. I'm waiting for the dwarf, dwarf to clear the way. Dwarf, you oh, go yeah. Into, I'm, I'm, not, I'm going to keep, I'm going to move yeah. uh, through the uh, snake ceiling yeah. into <laughs> the next room, shield out, uh, axe ready, All right. and uh, looking into the room with my infravision. You see a, a small squarish room, and there's an opening, a sort of oval-like opening to your left. Mm -hmm. Anything else in the room? Uh, nope, it's no. an empty room. Uh, there are a few pillars on the right side, and there's... Uh, well, so, like you can't see uh, the you know, he's looking into Ms. it. Ms. Ocean, how long can you keep the snakes uh, in the you plane? You guys should move, like, right now. I move into the right room. Right now. I, into the room. <laughs> I can't keep this up into the room, and he immediately falls into a pit of more of snakes. snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that thing? Yo, you got it. Ow. Oh, my oh. God. You but have it's a fallen. Friendly spike trap. You've fallen uh, 20 feet. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a five point spiked, of danger, so you know that. The spike trap. Oh, that sounds like so many guys. <laughs> 
Oh boy, oh. that's a Ouch. bad roll. Oh, 16 oh, six, 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 12. Oh, no. 18, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 26 points oh. of damage. Are you okay? Ah. <laughs> Quick, raise up your bad axe so we can axe. lift you <laughs> out. <laughs> you see that the floor just went whoosh, and he right. woo. And uh, are you still alive? On a scale of 0 to 100%, I'm about... 35% okay. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, he got ba badly hurt, and he's the bottom of this uh, uh, 20, 20 foot pit. You see, like. Watch out for the pit. There he has his leg, a, a spike is going clean through uh, one of his legs. Yeah. You're going to want to move Quick. everyone from the I these lower snakes. a rope. I get past snakes and lower a rope. Quick, tie this around your battle axe so we can <laughs> lift you up. I, I uh, uh, this, this rope I will, comes down. I will just hang on to the rope. Okay, you do not tie your battle axe to the rope. No, no, no I don't. <laughs> I hand the rope to Vigo. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull okay. him out. You pull, you pull, you climb. Just you a quick look. To... Uh, anything interesting since I'm down here? Oh, <laughs> no, there's nothing else dead, or no one, no one else has fallen into the pit. If that's your asking. On, or, on my way up, there's I'll some say, well, nobody else fell for that trap. They're rats, carcasses of rats and oh, bugs. Oh, that makes me feel a lot better about yeah. falling. Into yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, but, uh, but you climb back up. Uh, Try to avoid the. Uh, you get trap. back to to the side that you were coming from. Oh. Got it. Okay. Unless you tell me otherwise, that's where mm -hmm. the, they're pulling you up. Yeah. yeah. If I could, uh, I know I just got you know mortally injured, but is it possible to repel with a very strong and somewhat dexterous character? Onto the other side. Oh. You're gonna push off, like push off, gonna... and, and it's a pit, so it's a circular. It was a squarish pit. Squarish. Could I do a little, yeah. like you know, shuffle? I shuffle along the edge. Well, you can climb, can't you? Yeah, I'm quite quite effective What's climber. Your I found out. Climbing ability, like. Okay, well I should roll for that then. <laughs> uh, so I, my climbing skill is 92 percent, and I rolled oh. an 18. Oh my God! Yeah, you you're like you're you're ha yeah, almost at the top, and you're like oh. Okay, you just grab the top of the thing and you yeah. just you know, shimmy yeah. yourself. I'll bring the rope with. Around. Just in case. And yeah. you climb to this side with the rope. You're now on the other side of the pit. How wide is the pit? 20 feet. Oh, the, no, pit is um, no, oh, 10 20. feet. 10, 10 feet, feet across. Oh. 10 oh. feet this way, 10 feet that way. 20 feet deep. 20 feet deep. Yeah. yeah. Can I jump over it? Yeah, if you make a dex check, you can leap yeah, over. Love to do that. You roll twenty sided <laughs> under your deck. I rolled a ten on a sixteen. She just leaps over it, and there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna try and go through the door and climb around the wall and oh. avoid it. You can just yeah. What's your climbing chance? Uh, that would be dead ninety nine. Ninety nine. Well, roll, because you never know. Yep. <laughs> uh, actually, it's a 99. <laughs> what? Wow. Well, you needed, uh, um, you had to, in order to fail, you needed uh, 100. Right. <laughs> so you just, you, it was a little scary. You slipped for a moment there, uh, <clears throat> but you did not fall. And so she sort of shimmies around the corner of the edge there. That was really close. Yes, yeah. it was. <laughs> uh, anyone else? I'll uh, I'll join her. I do the same climb check. Uh, eighty one out of eighty four. Yeah, this wow. part is this part wow. is real clumbly and slippery. Okay, and, and yeah. another almost slip, and he gets through. Uh, can I see if there's another way? Because I don't think I can climb. You can jump. Oh, you're wearing can, that plate armor. I can assist with. I have the rope that you're hanging on to. I could assist. Okay, yeah, I'll try to do that. How are or you going to assist? Could we, uh, could you and I hold the rope and have Miss Ocean, like, get across it like a, you know, not quite trapeze artist, but more oh. like, like yeah. kind of Cirque du Soleil, but not mm. full blown. Yeah. But you, there you go. You hold the rope and, yeah. and you right. could, you know. What do I have to roll? Um, I would say that would be like a strength. If you could roll under your strength, is that something you want to do? Yes. Yes, a 10 out of 14. That was risky. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you make it. <laughs> and 
perhaps I could help you on the rope to get him across. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, not sure at 18. When he, whatever, when he jumps, give 17. it a big yank. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Have everybody grab so, the rope and you know, yeah. when he yeah. jumps. So you have the rope around you? Or yeah, I'm going to tie it around. You tie it around you, and then you're going to like, what are you going to do? Jump. You're going to run and jump, and they're all going to pull the rope. Yeah, let Cord take wow. the wheel. Okay. <laughs> Woo! You fly over into the, uh, into the thing. And uh, you make it. Wow. Great. He's uh, it. As thanks, I uh, take out my uh, potion, which I have two more uses of, and tell him to take a sip. Ooh, Aww. I take I take a sip. Eight sided die. All right. Two. Oh, wow. Better than nothing. You, you Better haven't than nothing. been going to temple very much, have you? <laughs> 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 oh my god. Jeez. Uh, so you're in. Uh, you're in this room and you see this opening. Beyond the opening, there's more light. And it's like, whoa, it looks like a huge, gigantic chamber that you're looking into. Let us reveal what they see. Mm. Oh, boy. Wow. Ooh. 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 Ah. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Who's it on? Oh, oh. That's a big idol. <laughs> Oh, hey, it Cat might purser? like us because of all the fire we've been giving it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah whoa, yeah, there is a huge fire. We've Something just, about this really speaks offering. to us. Yeah. Yes. We've just been offering. The There's, whole tower uh, was an offering. There was what looks like there would be eyes, two giant eyes, but they've been gouged out. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, Sadly, I wonder if they were, those were gems. <laughs> Something tells oh, me they wait. were. Wasn't that island called the or the the diamond we wanted the critical eye, eye of the critter or critter something the critter's eye the, the critter's, critter's eye. eye oh that was literal <laughs> uh, well well you don't see it there if that's what you're thinking mm. perhaps at one point there was something in the eyeballs mm. but uh, not at this moment but what you do see is a Couple of hobgoblins. Uh, couple of hobgoblins, uh, and uh, a big uh, a giant up on the right in front of the passageway. There's a passageway below this idol. There's like a arched passageway, which this giant stone giant is standing in front of. There's a couple of um, uh, hobgoblins. Standing there with pole arms, and uh, they're like they're looking at you, growling, as the stone giant reaches into a sack and takes out a big boulder. Roll for initiative, everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh. All right. Mm. Eeks. Oh no. <laughs> da, da, da. All right. Anyone get a zero or lower? Yep. Negative one. Negative Ooh. one. Okay. What is your Picky. action? I will. Um, so we're all in this large room. And where's the giant? All the way at the end. Oh, yikes. I will break uh, counterclockwise mm -hmm. and try to end up behind one of these pillars. Okay. Uh, what's your movement? 14 inches. Uh, 14 and I'll, I won't move the full movement if I can't get to the you know, second tier of pillars. Mm -hmm. I think you should be behind this first pillar. I think I'll take the next six to get behind that pillar. Yeah, and I have a little bit more. You're shielding yourself from the I'm, giant. Yes, yeah. I'm not trying to take any action. Just mm. no, you managed to get over there right. before the giant can hurl a boulder. I'll. Is it possible to uh, to switch my weapon from the battle axe to my hammer? Yes. Great. All right. On, negative, on zero? On zero. Um, I'm going to come this way. I have movement of 16 and also go behind pillars to try and get. If I have enough movement, I'm not sure with 16 if I can get all the way to the third pillar or not. Here. Okay, ah. that works. Gosh, 
who put all these pillars in this room? <laughs> Our I will. I will also. Um, before I did that, I would have doused my uh, torch. Okay, there's plenty of light in the room. There's yeah, plenty, plenty of light, light in the room, and no reason to give the spotlight to where I'm at. That uh -huh. is cool. Yeah. On one, two, three, four. Oh, I didn't even roll for that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! They, yeah, they're going. Okay. <laughs> on, uh, on, if, let's say three or four. The, the giant is going to hurl a boulder. Who's he going to attack? He's going to attack. Going to attack you. Oh. Yes. What is your armor class? So she will squish you. I'm invincible. Um, <laughs> where's my armor class? Your armor class is On the top sheer right. three. 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 Okay. Oh. Oh. They're going to need a seven. <laughs> a seven to hit oh. you with this boulder. Ten is a hit. Oh, no. Oh. no. That's, a, that's going to hurt. Is there a spell? Let's see. That's one. Ten. Oh, man. Right. Three to 30 points there of damage. Oh, my gosh. 10, 13, 14, 17 points oh. of damage. Oh, I'm fine, I'm Giant fine. Boulder <laughs> bounces off of your shoulder like, ah! Oh! But I think you have a few more hit points. I say uh, 17? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, and then the other two are just kind of growling and, and, and standing where they are. They look like they're just holding uh, holding line over there. They don't have any missile weapons, so they're just like, arr, arr. So let's see, our initiative of four, five, five, six, five. Oh, I'm magic missiling that giant. Ooh. I have four of them. <laughs> four magic missiles. Nice. Uh, from your staff, is that? Uh, it's a spell. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, four magic missiles and uh, roll four, four sided dice. A 44. All right. Okay, four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 points. Wow. Yeah, magic. Woo. Okay. Nice. nice magic. All right. 13? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Well, choo -choo -choo -choo, and the missiles light up the room, and he argh, 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 shakes it off. Did it did harm? Of okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take more than that. Um, all right, on six. That's me. Hello. Uh, I would like to move into the room. I think with fourteen uh, inches of movement, I can. I'm going to go left um, behind that second pillar if I can get there. Yep. All right. Um, and I would like to fire two shots with my longbow, if I may. Uh, you moved so you can take one shot. One shot? Okay. Yeah. I will do that. Who are you shooting at? Um, let's see. You know, we are focus. I, I we are focusing fire. I'm gonna shoot the giant. All right. I hit armor class three, so I don't think that hits. That is a miss. You actually kind of, uh, stone giant has very tough skin. I mean, almost like stone. And it just bounces <laughs> off the giant. Almost like what he's named for. <laughs> and, uh, I was on six, seven. I will sneak around the way that she didn't just attack from. And yep, I have a movement of 15. Uh, you can basically be standing right there. With the dwarf, if you want to go. With the dwarf. With the dwarf. He seems less sneaky than me. I will stop one pillar before that. Oh. I'll hide over there, and since I'm kind of by myself here in the shadows, I will I will drink that potion we stole and see what happens. Oh. Nice. Okay. Well, um, it's a, a potion of healing. 
That's Are unfortunate. You harmed? <laughs> I am not. <laughs> okay. It sure does taste good. You're drinking Dud. It. Mm, it's just it doesn't good. do anything. It's like it tastes like Gatorade. I, I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> nothing. You feel really good and hydrated, but you know nothing. Shucks. Not now. <laughs> Glowing. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's seven. On eight. Nine. Nine. <laughs> uh, so. I'm out in the open, and everybody's done behind pillars. And um, you get know what? You and me. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> it's you, you and me. Your, your boss is standing right behind. Oh. Yes. Okay. He just got behind smoked me. by okay, a boulder. <laughs> she did. She did. Get You're the tank. You're the plate mail armored tank. Uh, so I'm gonna look back at a. Uh, I got you, boss. And I take out my longbow, and I'm going to instead. I get two shots. I'm gonna fire at both hobgoblins. Okay. So. The one on the left first. Mm -hmm. uh, that is all right. It's on a class three. Three is a hit. Oh, yeah. So one d six. Three damage. Three damage. Well, you hit it, but it, he's not dead. He's still. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, I'm still gonna fire at the other one. And he yells at you. Uh, in uh, hobgoblin, do you understand that? Yeah. Oh. Uh, <sighs> Weak, uh, 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 scared uh, little puppy. Uh, oh. <laughs> come and fight me. <laughs> Use your missile weapons. What a coward you are. <laughs> come closer. Come and die like a, <laughs> like a real warrior. <laughs> you first. Oh. <laughs> uh, I fired at the other hobgoblin. I only rolled a seven, so that's like armor class that's eight. A I don't think miss. Yeah. That's a miss. Yeah, he, the other guy was. Talking too much trash. I got distracted. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Is that everybody? I think yep. so. Yep. New round. Roll for Ninja. Oh, come on. Ooh, zero is high, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I rolled a 10. Anyone get a zero or lower? Oh, I got a two. Wait, zero oh. on the die is 10. 10. Is 10. That's yeah. actually a 10, mm -hmm. which is bad. Well, I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. It's just not first. It's slow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, a one? A two. two? Two. What are you doing? I wait for uh, Stella to draw fire. Okay. Because she's also on a two. <laughs> um, Stella, having been hiding behind the um, pillar, is going to try to s sneak up behind the hobgoblin on this side and stab him in the back. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Uh, try to sneak between him and the center? Yeah. No, I'm not going to go. I'm going to go to the side. Mm. Or, this way around? No. This way. That. that. Okay. So where, where between you, two pillars. Where do you between the two pillars. Here. Between no. the two pillars. Here. There. There. And then go straight across. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. And you go to try to what, move silently? Yes. There are not really any shadows to hide in because you're right out in the open. Right, but I came from where he wasn't expecting. Okay. You're, so, you head over there and you head over. Mm -hmm. Right. You move, okay. You um, move silently. See if you move silently. Okay, I have an 88% chance. That's 32. 32. Um, you move silently, but you are sort of in the side of vision. I'm going to say there's... Uh, Three and six chance that that hobgoblin sees you. Okay. Heading right for him. And uh, three and six, one to three, sees you. He spots you. Okay. And does the stone giant spot you? One to three chance. I'm being a distraction. They both, they both spot you. Okay. So I don't get the back. Then? Audaciously running. No, you don't. <laughs> I don't. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Well, you actually, you know, you don't get the backstab. You can attack because your, your movement gets you to the. Yeah. But I he had... turns and faces you. Okay. You can attack. Do I only get one because I took movement, or do I get both attacks? Both. You are you attack with two weapons? Uh, yeah, I have a plus two long sword and a dagger. Oh, you can attack with both. Okay. Um, it would. What's your uh, dexterity? My dexterity is eighteen. Oh wow. Okay, so you would just have a negative one. Oh, it's already been factored in. It's already in been factored in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, two tacks. Okay, so the gold inked one is the off hand, the left hand. Okay, so that would be better of my off hand. I hit AC1. That's a hit. 
and with the other, I yeah, never mind. Uh, <laughs> That's a miss. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know I had D4 here somewhere. Um, so that is four points of damage. Ooh, and, uh, that was the one that you shot, I believe. Yeah. Oh, nice you go. dispatched that one. Oh. Yeah, nice work. You weren't. Talking fast. Yeah. Got hit in the back. <laughs> All right. Well done. I will then, now that she's drawn everyone's attention. I'm good <laughs> at that. I will use my movement to try and leapfrog where the dwarf is to get to the next pillar. Okay. I have a movement of 15. Okay. You get to. I'll go that far. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I keep going. Oh, sneaking all the way over there. And, now, there, and are there are shadows. There are shadows over I there. I try to hide in the shadows. What a, okay. Let's I will try. Right. My chance is. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Uh, uh, what's the uh, wrong no. with these dice? Yeah, oh. You don't know whether you're That's hidden. That's true. Or. I don't know if they saw me or not. Oh. Okay. Okay. So you're sneaking around in the shadows. You don't know if they spotted you or not. Heading over there. Okay. Uh, and then what do you do? That's that's it. That's your move. I think that's my move, right? Okay. And I didn't get next to him, so. That was on a zero, or one, two, three. Didn't I say they go on oh, two? Oh, I yeah, yeah, I had no. I They're going on two. Yeah. So, at that point, the stone giant is going to leap down and attack you. Oh, no. Of course with he is. This giant club. Oh no. Uh, oh, yeah. What's your armor class? AC of two. Two. Oh, he needs a eight with this giant club and eight yes, of I do have pencil ready to write down how many, how many hit points are losing. Six is a oh. miss. Oh, oh nice. Nice dodge. Thump, thump. Uh, the ground shakes next to you, but uh, you managed to hop out of the way. Uh, the, uh, the other hobgoblin... Uh, yeah, bring the giant down. The other hobgoblin looks around and is like, oh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Turns around and runs into the tunnel. Oh. Into the tunnel. Oh. And you hear him running down into the tunnel, his footsteps echoing into oh, the darkness. Oh, okay. okay. Chum, 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 chum. Uh, that was on two. On three, four, five. I forgot a four. Four. I would like to lightning bolt, a level three lightning bolt. At the giant. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Payback. Lightning. Yeah. How do I do this thing? Because I'm not using yeah. my my seven six-sided dice. <laughs> He's going to get a saving throw for half. Let's see. Against spell, he needs a ten or better. Oh. He makes a saving throw. So if I don't do any. You no, no, you no. do. You can roll seven six-sided dice, and, <laughs> but you will half the damage. Okay, that is 10, that is 26 points of damage. And uh, so we do half of that, right? 13, 13 points 13, of damage. 13 points. Does the lightning bolt also hit the fellow who's standing right by the uh, stone giant? Uh, no, 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 oh, no, um, yes. <laughs> yes. yes, he is right in the line of fire. Oops, sorry. Oh. Oh, he's got, yeah. You must make a saving throw. And I want to get over a 10, right? Oh, or you, under. you, you, you. Like spells. Me. Yeah, spells over a 10. 10. Over a 10. Over a 10. Uh, yes, that's an 18. Woo. So I take 13. Now you also take. Ah, that, that hurts. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That conversation about increasing our share, I didn't think we were going to actively work towards that. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. I was like, oops. Ow. <laughs> uh, all right. That was on four, five, six, seven. Seven. <laughs> How big is this passageway? Uh, like, could the giant fit through the passageway? He could. If he ducked down, he could yeah, run into it. Um, He's thinking about it. <laughs> all right. I will. Oh, can I get to the giant from the pillar that I'm at? Uh, uh, 14 inches behind him. Ish. Well, the giant. Yes, but you have to tell me what Ooh, that is. That's the back of the giant. I would take. Yeah, if I could, I would like to. I uh, have my hammer out because I was going to throw it at someone, but I'm not. 
I'd like to be able to take my battle axe back out, get behind the giant, mm -hmm. and attack it. Yeah, I'll, you can I'll do that. Come and use your mini okay. Where you're are we worried about errant lightning bolts? Uh, just, I just uh, want to know, you know. You know I would. Okay. <laughs> One, mm -hmm. two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, stuck no. in the the diamond area in the middle there. You hear a clicking sound. Three, two, one. Let, no saving throw. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Whoa. A giant five ton block falls from the ceiling, <laughs> and you hear a splattering sound as he is completely <laughs> smashed. Now, wait. I have a really, really important question because he's yeah. pulling his axe yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Is his arm under the block? <laughs> Oh, I, I know well, how to resolve know. this. Well, I know we will, uh, we will resolve this through irony because my last name is Stone Lifter. Oh my god! <laughs> so I feel like that alone makes the hand like uh, right, uh, you know, like right on the outside. I'm saying there's a fifty percent chance, fifty percent chance that the axe right. is not crushed beneath me. Okay. All right. All right. One to one to high and low. High no, low. Fifty. So oh, we're gonna roll. Okay, okay. Sure. Under fifty. Under fifty is gone. Under 50, it's smashed. Is that it? Yeah, over 50 is saved. Oh. I rolled frick. I was counting this as my 10, so it's under. Oh, smash. <sighs> Too bad. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> uh, well, what a waste. They were really <laughs> taunting you and hoping they could get someone to run there. But and they did. Didn't they? <laughs> it worked, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, all right. That was, uh, that was that your was turn. Seven. Thank you. That's my last <laughs> turn for You're playing. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> uh, on eight, nine. Hi. Hello. Uh, hmm. You'd like to run across this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, seeing as how I believe that the uh, one thing we needed to worry about is that brick that just killed that guy. That I knew Lock. very briefly. <laughs> I'm going to uh, pull out, I'm going to put away my bow and take out my mace and my shield. And I'm going to, I only have seven. So I don't think I can get to it. lumber yet. over there. Yeah, yeah, I'll get over there. Uh, you're, you're running up. Oh. Clink, I'll, clank, clink, clank, clink. I'll simply say, uh, bad way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mm. it's, uh, oh you see all this blood oozing out from the edges of the the five ton block. Uh, nine. Me, this also still me. Uh, I'm gonna briefly try not to vomit, um, but then I'm gonna put two more arrows in this giant. All right, go ahead. And I don't. I just don't. Wow. I'm traumatized by what just happened. Wow. You were trembling <laughs> yeah. a little and two I also arrows. I'm nauseous at the loss of that axe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is that everyone then. Yeah. New round. New round. Oh, oh congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. He he is going to Oh what well, what's his initiative? Let's see. Three. Okay. Initiative zero or lower? One, two, two, two. Under two. Uh, he's right in front of me. Uh, I guess his first position, so that would work. So I'm going to try the two attacks again. Right. The gold is oh, yeah. the gold ink is the dagger, and that is both misses. His, wow. Okay. His dice sort of. Mm -hmm. You're like, yeah. how do I get it? the reach? It's so hard to reach him, and he's yeah. waving his club around, and you're like, oh no, I can't. So you <laughs> miss. Um, on one, two, two, two. Um, I'll throw a two this time. Um, I'm going to continue moving towards this giant. Does he get there? He does. He gets there. You can attack, and it's from behind. Plus four to hit. Oh, okay. But you're a, you're also a you're a thief, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you are. So you this is a, a backstab. Uh, that is a nine. Um, okay. Oh, you're using your mace? Yeah, mace. Oh, so okay. if it's 
13 armor class 2. Oh, that is a miss. Oh, oh, yeah. That is a miss. That would have been a serious damage, but you yeah. some when you tried to you were like, oh, "I got his back right here." And then he moves slightly like <laughs> <laughs> Uh well, that was on 2 on 3. He goes, he he actually doesn't know you're there cuz you know, he's busy fighting you. Right. He got his back to you. Okay. Even though you do make a lot of noise, though. So you may be aware that there's someone nearby. Yeah, because you can't move silently. You're wearing plate mail. And the lightning came from that direction. Yeah, there is a, uh, <laughs> I would say there's a, uh, a ceiling uh, collapse. You know, right. one, one in three, <laughs> three, three out of six chance that he heard you sneaking up on him. Yes, he did. Is he going to turn around? I think he is. He's going to he's gonna <laughs> not attack you. He wants to know what's behind him. He turns around and he's going to attack you. Okay. He probably blames you for the lightning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he didn't like that. So, uh, what's your armor class? One. One. You're going to need uh, to get a nine. The giant club. A two yeah. misses. Wow. Oh, wow. my God. Thump. Uh, that was on three. Four. Four. Five. Four. Four. I'm going to move as far as I can up these side pillars. I've got a 14 movement. Okay. Ed, did you want to tell me this way or uh, this way? The furthest way. Oh, well, from me. Here, so I guess that yeah, works. correct. So 14, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'd say behind the pillar. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. That's all I can do, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, if you okay. move, you can't cast. All right, on five, six, six, six. I'll let you go with you. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to move up, and can I switch to my bastard sword? Sure. Yeah, I'd love to do that and take a swing at this wonderful, oh, that's wonderful a big sword. Giant. Yeah. Okay. Now, are you are you sneaking up behind him? Or are you? Of course, I am. Yeah. Yeah. So if you could move silently, can you move yeah. silently? Can I move silently? I cannot move silently. That's a ninety-six. Oh. On a, on a oh, there's a one in three chance. Three, three half a chance. Yeah. No, he 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 feels you sneaking. That's okay. And, uh, Oh no, well, he was turned this way anyway. Can you turn yeah, we're all he kind of. Around. Yeah, he yeah. was turned around. So you're not sneaking, but you can attack him. You okay. can attack. No, no, I can't. Oh, oh yeah, God. No <laughs> one can hit this yeah. huge no. creature. <laughs> all right. Um, I, uh, so also at the same initiative, I'm very concerned about what that hobgoblin has running off to do to Pat Purser's diamond, the critter's eye. And so I'm going to sneak while everyone's busy through the entranceway. Yeah, you got to. You know, you got to save Pat Purser. Well, especially Pat Purser's diamond. Yeah. <laughs> you can make it down the corridor, though. I, I, I'm trying to be oh, sneaky while I do it. Let's see where the corridor goes. Well, he gets there. He's not out on the other side yet, so he's still under the idol. Okay, he's in, in the passageway. But the passageway of the idol is, you know. It, it comes out over here. It comes over yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. Let us see what we. Yeah. We're testing the camera crew here. We go back and forth. Wow. With Where two minutes to spare for the rest <laughs> yeah. of the game, one of us has made it to <laughs> one of the hallways. Light. Light. Well, light. I try to do my best to be sneaky. It goes from a wide corridor to a narrow corridor. Mm. At this point, I realize since I'm on my own, and thus I'm going to split diamond shares with me. <laughs> I'm definitely looking for traps. Okay. You're going to start looking for I'm traps. I'm going to start right looking for that. traps okay. as I advance. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fair. fair. All right. That's on six, seven, eight, nine, ten. New round. New round. All right. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nope. Man. Amazing. We have a very small amount of time left, I'm afraid. We're going to have to try to hurry up here. All right. Uh, anyone on the zero, one? Zero. Zero. Minus two. Nice. Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh. Um, I'm going to try to backstab this guy. I'm just going to focus with my sword. He does have his back to you. He does have his back to me, and that is a whopping AC 7. <laughs> you have a plus 4 to hit him. Oh, well, that makes a difference, yes. 
Um, that would make it to AC3. Not a hit. Oh, no. Not a hit. Penetrable um, dot. That's and been missed. Doing that, can I disengage up the stairs? Nope. You no, you would have had to have done that, that without that. attacking. Yeah. Uh, that was a negative two. Negative one, zero. 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 Uh, I advance looking for traps. Oh, he goes on seven. Yo, he's looking for traps? What's yep. your chance here? You tell me. And That's then, my tense. Well, what What do you... Then oh. my chance is... Uh, you 70. Do you want me to roll special dice? dice. Where right. are they? They're over there. There. There you go. Okay, and your chance is what? 70. Yeah. All right, you're, you're going along. You don't see any traps as you move. How many feet? Uh, 15. 15. Can he have full movement rate while looking for traps? Uh, that's a good question. I'm going to say yes. Oh my God, you see a trap. Okay. I don't step in it. <laughs> you're like, wait a minute. This, this looks very fishy up here. Uh, you've detected a pit trap, and you sort of push down on it, and opens up, and you can see that there is a, what is there? There's some uh, writhing insects near us. Oh, the yeah. flesh-eating insects. Oh. Flesh-eating insects, the oh, worst. You do not fall into the flesh-eating insect pit. You see that it's there. And I, I do still have movement. I will, uh, and, the, and the pit opened, right? Yeah. I will try to do the wall thing again that we did uh, last to time. To the right or to the left? Uh, I look carefully. Is there a reason that I don't like one way or the other? So you're checking for traps again? Yeah. Why not? Oh my God. In this there you go. That's, oh, that's a very good roll, actually. Yeah, no, you decide that you don't want to go to the right. That's, That's the kind of thing I would have done. That you see along the wall there. There's <laughs> All like right. a, I try to go a, a slit going across the wall. Very long, five foot long slit. And you're like, I don't like that. Uh, 32 out of. What is this for? Now? I'm trying to climb around the way you said to say. Oh, okay. So and you climb I, around the other way. That's probably my turn. Uh, you do not activate the uh, trap, whatever that was. <laughs> Should we show you? Here. That decapitates me. The, yeah. the, 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 uh, yeah. On the wall, there was oh the scimitar trap that would have taken your head off. But sneaky thieves, yeah. you're now in the room. And there you see, uh, what is there, a door? Yeah, there's a door that's right there. There's a door and another door. Straight line, there's a door in the corner. There's a door in the corner and a door oh. straight ahead. That's very complicated. Well, oh, uh, that's probably my turn. Mm -hmm. yeah. we'll, we'll wait to get back to you. All right, so that was on uh, zero, zero, one, zero. one, two, three, four, four, four. I move as um, I take my movement and I just go towards the secret passage. I want to go kind of a long way. You're going to follow as well. Yeah. What's your move? Fourteen. So he gets into. So you were right at the edge, the beginning of that. Do that thing. Put her Very at the very beginning. Yeah. All right. That's on four, five, six, six. Uh, I would like to disengage from the giant and follow my friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can do it. You can, <laughs> you can run around the giant. It's going to get an attack at you as That's you okay. disengage. That's okay. What is your armor class? Four. Oh, 17 is a <laughs> hit. That's all right. But I, you may be able to survive this thing. <laughs> he says. Ooh, oh, wow. So. 10, 23 points of damage. 23, okay. That hurt, but I make it away. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. I feel like you guys don't trust me with this diamond. And he rolls and gets up and runs into the, uh, into the tunnel. So 11, yeah. if he brush past his boss, he can get a few more squares down. After you. Yeah, I'll, I'll go past. Okay. That's on six, seven. Uh, I was also on six. Uh, so I see everybody leaving and. Leaving you alone with the giant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like. Sorry. Uh, I throw down my mace and take out my longsword and I look at that block and I say, 
I guess this is a fine place to die too. And I swing at the Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. yeah. Let's do it. Oh. oh. That's a what? <laughs> oh no. It is I have a special so die of woe for that. Okay. Yeah. So let's see what happens now. I end yourself. <laughs> you cut yourself as you were changing weapons. You cut yourself. Uh, roll a four sided die. All right. In your haste and in the confusion, like you grab the other. Oh my god, you cut your hand. Three points of damage. Three points of damage. You'll survive. Yes. There. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's a the giant goes on, on seven. All right? Yeah. Go yeah. 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 For real. All right, and uh, oh, he's going to attack you. <laughs> <laughs> What's your armor class? One. One. He needs a nine. Five misses. This is a war of attrition now. All right. All right. Uh, oh, so new round. Roll for initiative. Oh, okay. Anyone on zero or lower? One. One. What does the giant get? Giant gets a three. One. I search the door, the center door there for traps. The center door for traps. Let's see, where are we? We're here. Mm. Oh, yeah. There. there we go. Well, you don't think there are any traps there? Okay, we'll try the door. You, you know what? It's not even locked. You, you open the door. <laughs> he opens the door. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, look. It's that oh, door. No. More slashing. Four skeletons attack you. Uh, two Ooh. in the front and two behind with pole arms. What's your uh, armor class? Zero. Zero. Let's see. So they would need. Oh my god, a 19 to hit you. All right, four attacks. Seven's a miss. 19 is a hit. hit. Oh, wow. Uh, 12 is a miss. Five is a miss. You get hit once for five points of damage. Ah. Uh, boss, we're, we're under siege from the front. But you also <laughs> see behind the skeletons, there is a um, portcullis. And then there's like, in this round room, there is a Dias, and on the dais you see Pat Purser. Pat Purser, oh. Pat Purser, no. Pat Purser. Pat Purser. is chained and sitting atop this dais, and he's got a uh, he's gagged. He's going, mm, 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 mm. and he's up there, and I also on the wall behind the skeletons you see two levers, two levers. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, boss, I found Pat Purser. There's definitely a payday. <laughs> All right, that was on one? Yeah. Two, three, uh, two. two. How does my recall three levels of spells work? You can recall, yeah, so first level, three first levels or one third level. Perfect. Or... Um, now, what is my range on levitate? Ooh, uh, what are you trying to levitate? I think you're in range oh. of. Uh, so I'm levitate. over there, and essentially what I want to do is levitate Pat Purser off of the dais. Oh, you can do that. Yes. Um, and the portcullis is closed currently, correct? It's currently closed. Fantastic. So oh. I will stay at this distance if this is yeah. all true, and I yeah. say, open that door. Oh. And so I would also like to. You cast a spell, and Pat Purser levitates off the dais. Cast sleep on those. You can only well, do one I, spell I don't want to do time. levitate That's it. yet. I don't want to do oh. levitate yet. I want to wait till the doors yeah. open. I would like to cast sleep on those two gentlemen. It's a thirty-foot circle, so I want to do it as um, cast basically. Sleep I want, on I, the skeletons. Oh shoot! They can't. They're they four skeletons. Oh, they're skeletons. Just kidding. <laughs> then I would like to. Um, I would like to levitate him off of the dais. You, you, you levitate him off the, the dais. dais. You see the Pat person gets levitated. Does he move anywhere or does he go straight up? Can I levitate uh, him? It just move? really goes straight okay, up, I, I believe. Yeah. Sort of just like He's hovering. 
So I would like to just spend my life doing that until they open the door. Yeah, they go. <laughs> <laughs> He's levitating. All right, uh, on two, on three. That's me. Um, Giant is also attacking on three. Oh, boy. I'd like to move down the hallway, um, assuming that my fellow thief friend has cleared it of traps. Well, yeah, I see that. He's already open. And I will shout out where the traps are. Four. All right, so uh, what do you do to get across um, actually, from where I am, can I swap to my longbow? Like, I just do one one shot? You could take a shot. You're going to shoot? Wait, he's right in front. He's of right him. in front of the skeletons. That would be a tricky he, shot. That would be a tricky shot. He is short, though. He is short, but, you know. Let's live a little. Yeah, I'm going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Duck! <laughs> <laughs> Duck. 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 Goose. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> a one. A one. <laughs> oh, no. All right. I have a die for that. Pass it down. Okay. I injured myself. Injured yourself. So, yeah, I fired. I I, uh, I wasn't properly prepared. Four. And I take four points of damage. Yeah, you were so worried about hitting your friend that you shot your hand. Yeah. All right. I, too, was concerned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you hear duck, it's concerning. <laughs> Uh, all right, three, four. Oh no, the giant is attacking again. Uh, you, that's right. Yeah. And he needs uh, what's your armor class? One. Don't need much. Nine. It's a C one. Okay. Oh, you get hit. Uh, ten, nine, ten, eleven, twenty-two. I believe. Ooh. Yep, 22. 22 points of damage. I'm still up. You're still alive. He's a sturdy dwarf. What are you down to? Uh, I'm down to uh, 15. 15. One, One more, more hit shot like that. All right. Five. Five. Four. Five. Four. Well, I did have four. four. He had four. You have four. Okay. Yeah, He's still so up, so. I'm going to attack. All right. Uh, that is not enough of four. Oh, my God. The no. roll. Yeah. <laughs> I right. saw that. Okay. Right. Sorry. That's okay. Uh -oh. I'm gonna disengage. <laughs> I vote like like the other dwarf. I only known him briefly. Uh, uh, and, disengage uh, causes attack. Well. Yeah. And uh, go off. Oh, he's attacking me. Uh, what's the armor class? Two. A nine. It's armor class one. You get hit. Yep. Twenty one points of damage. So I'm still up so I get to to, to live another Ah go okay. through. You managed Continue. to and you could run into the passageway. Yep. I had sixteen. Ooh, a lot of movement. Teleportation. And you can get down the corridor and you have to stop. Because of the this is right, here. Here. Right. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Everyone go. Mm -hmm. All right, new round. You get a one. I have one. One. I have a one. Okay. Um. Oh, the giant also has a one. Oh no. <laughs> All right. You guys can go first. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I would like to. Gosh, I mean, I've got my bow out. Um, I'm gonna climb around the pit. All right. Where is she at? Right, well, she climbs around. You go to climb. Yeah, sixty-six. I climb around the pit. All right. Go to the left or right. Um. I pointed out the trap. Then I go to the left. Yeah. Or I go I go the way he went. Yeah. The, the, the good way. Yeah, so are, are the other left. To engage with the skeletons for melee? Uh, yeah, with my bastard sword. Moving up. Yeah, moving up. Moving on up. There you go. I can still do that this round, right? Yeah. Okay. No, maybe. Well, maybe. I don't know. Uh, armor class nine. No. Okay. That's nope. a miss. I'm just still, barely. I've been crying this whole time, yeah. so it's just like my face. I can't see anything. My eyes are puffy. It's bad. Uh, 
There, that was on one. Uh, one. One. So, I can't really do anything. I guess I just want to be. No, you're levitating. You're levitating. Right so, there. I'm going to concentrate. Yeah, and that's it. That's, uh, you're levitating. All right. I'm hoping that someone it. will do something. Okay. And a giant attacks. Uh, Carly and his. Four is a miss. Oh, oh that was close. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get another shot. All right. Uh, on two, three, four, five, six. Six. Five, five. Oh, five. Five. I got a five, so I'm going to try and attack him again. I believe and, in you. Uh, that is a 12 this time, so uh, 12 hits on the class zero. Though. That's a hit. Oh, my God. You hit the giant. Oh, my God. And he's been injured. He's injured. But minimal damage again. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's six total. Wait, is the six. giant large? Oh, wait, gi giant uh, large. I yep. thought it was D12. Oh, large, large giant. He's definitely large. Two. <laughs> oh. That's seven. Oh, it's better. <laughs> but, hey. Yeah, he's better starting to look people. hurt. He's starting to look Ooh, hurt. Sorry. He's about it's more than half people. down. More than half down. All right. So five. Yeah, <laughs> you are more than half. Six. Six. Oh, six. Um, there's really no way past the skeletons, right? To get to Pat Purser. You can, like, bash through them, suffer some damage, and pull could some I, levers. You could do that. Could I try to because I'm tiny and fast Ooh. try to like dodge underneath dodge yeah. under their feet Why not? and leave them for Latia to deal with. Let's see yeah. if you can do it. How would you I like me to roll check. Dex check under the, the legs of the skeleton. 13 of 17. You just like sneakily just slide underneath the legs of the of the, the skeletons. You're, well, obviously they're not smart and uh, you're there. You see these two levers. What do you do? Uh, does one of them Seem to connect to. You don't know what they uh, do. Nothing. Yeah, no, not a clue. Um, going to the right last time was bad, so I pull the right one. You pull the right lever. I figure that they're going to change it up. The right leather opens the gate. <gasps> chink, 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 chink. Yay, the yay. gate opens. This way, Pat Purser. All right. Where's the diamond? Oh, he's <laughs> levitating over the thing. Uh, he's like, oh. uh, what do you do? You I'm run really in there short. And... I can't reach you. Where's the diamond? Okay, so you're yelling from yeah. the entranceway. You don't yeah. grab him. Or I, well, can I reach him? Because I'm sh really short. If you run in there, you can jump up onto uh, the I don't really want to jump up on the diet. <laughs> <laughs> that has proven to be fatal repeatedly. Oh, can I try to lasso him with a rope or throw him a rope? Do you have a rope? I do have a rope. So you throw him a rope. He has, he has manacles, but his hands are free. Uh, I will try and throw a rope at him. Okay, roll a dex check. Dex see check. if you can. Uh, 11 of 17. Yeah, you throw the rope and incredibly. Uh, oh, yeah, he manages to grab the rope <laughs> and uh, you yank him towards you. I You've rip, rescued Pat first. I rip the gag out. Where's the diamond? <laughs> what? 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 What diamond? What? The real diamond was the friends oh, we made and lost along the way. <laughs> We're going to have to get that out. We axe. have to get out of here. They're, they're hobgoblins and giants. <laughs> we, we, no. I, where's the diamond? I cry a little. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do not know anything. They put me here, and I've seen nothing. But let, let us go. It is a very dangerous place. We should flee. Although I will write a song about it. It's a balloon. <laughs> it's like a balloon. Just pull the rope with you. Okay, so you're pulling it along. Pull. <laughs> pulling. Okay, it's four well, skeletons between me and the creature. It's four yeah. skeletons, but oh, okay. uh, now we are pincering the skeletons. I believe that uh, we're running out of time. Isn't that correct? Yeah. So, um, you know, you got to be able to take care of these four skeletons. You you come in, you smash the skeletons, and uh, that's not going to be an issue. I think you guys can tenth level. You can handle them. Um, so. You've got Pat Purser, and uh, I think there's really, uh, there's only one door that you haven't looked well, at, you know? Uh, so that is probably the way to go. I'd like to grab Pat Purser and say, as it, like, bring the rope down and stop levitating and say, uh, uh, Matthew Purser, they know me as, uh, as uh, Kara Ocean, but my name is Patine Scenix. And I've been here. I've come here all this way to save you. Oh, my God. Oh, 
my God, I, I've heard of you. Oh, this is great. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. That's GTFO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Was there ever a diamond? <laughs> I, I don't know anything about a diamond. What are you talking about? I feel deeply wronged. <laughs> that's, that's just GFTO. Yes. All right. Uh, well, so you rescue him. Uh, you do not go into the final doorway, which is actually a very good thing. And you manage to run out of the dungeon, rescuing the famous bard of Valoria, Pat Purser. And... Um, of course we did. Well, of course and, we did. and no one ever knows what happened to Nico. Oh, with the giant. Oh, my God. We Well, let's see what happens to the giant. Let's do it. You come out. You, you Are you going to help him? Because he yeah. Yeah. Like smashed. Oh, sure. No. Right. Sure. Wait, what? Yeah. You're coming up behind him. Isn't it? Right. Right. We pull an office Who's coming up behind him? Situation. Legit. Oh. Let's all go at it. Let's all go together. <laughs> Why don't you that's... all roll to hit? Plus okay. four to hit from behind. Oh, finally. Oh, that's yeah. negative four. AC, neg two. Yeah, that's negative that's two That's a hit? Me. Yeah. I oh, know. It's so just armor class. And, and plus times four damage for thieves. That'd be 44. Oh, yeah. You come screaming yeah. out of the tunnel, him. leap onto oh, the back God. of the giant, and stab with your sword and dagger right Ooh. through his body. He falls down dead. Uh, job, to your buddy. amazement, you gather him up. You and finally you hit? Run out, <laughs> right? of the, run out of the Run out of the Oh, my All God. Right. The whole forest is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> the tower is on fire. You're like, oh my god, oh my god, you managed to find some path somewhere that's not on fire, and you weave Oops. down, and you head back to Valoria with Pat Purser. Yay. And Yay. Yes. <laughs> along the route, along the route, you see some ants with like uh, buckets of water rushing yeah. towards the <laughs> section of forest. And especially the folks back home. Oh, let's Ooh, show them yeah. the final room like, here. Oh, the giant diamond. There was a, a room. There was a room there with uh, some treasure, uh, some very nasty traps. By the way, I'm fine. As you entered the door, fire trap, oh, crossbow. There was, was, the oh, 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 and there was the, the. It's on delay. Yeah. I'm sorry. But. <laughs> what, what was it called again? The, the critter's, the critter's eye. eye. The critter's oh, eye. The critter's oh, eye. One of the eyes of the of the big oh, yeah. demon idol that was sit, oh, the saved new, the and not stolen uh, was uh, hidden down know. below, but you did not find it. Well, we ran up. out of time. <laughs> but thank you very much. I know we have other live streams that are coming after ours, so unfortunately, we had to kind of cut it a little short. Thank you. I think we got most. At least we rescued Pat Purser. Yes. yes. Thank you very right. much. Once again, sponsored by Demiplane to benefit Extra Life. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. For the kids.